Howligans. Uh, today we're gonna be playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I know this game's been out for a little bit, but uh, I made a new island last month and uh, I've been slowly developing it. So I thought it'd be fun to uh, show y'all where I am in the design process. I also do actually need some design advice because I'm like indecisive. So <laughs> I am like very much open to ideas as well. Um, I don't want to do a lot of terraforming this time. I'm going to be so honest. I, it, it's so much work and I don't want to do it that much. So I largely chose an island where like I liked the layout and then I mostly just kind of left it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Howdy do everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I haven't played yet today, so... Oh, you know what's exciting? I just got the uh, Nook's Cranny update yesterday, so I have a big storm finally. Oh, thank you. Thank you for head the pat. And I also finally got the Nook app, uh, the shopping app. Uh, so that was nice, because I've been wanting that forever, and I finally got it unlocked yesterday. I need to order like 100 items or something. Mark, hello! I hope you have a good Ayo, work it's day. it's gaming time. It is gaming time, mystery guy. Thank you for the seven months. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Limes, hello! Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I have a ginormous mug of, uh... I have a giant mug of, um, ginger tea today because my tummy is a wreck and I'm just trying to figure out what to do to make it less of a mess, um... Until I can see a doctor about it, so <laughs> I know I don't I don't know. There's so much like differing opinions on whether or not ginger tea helps. But look, a placebo is a placebo. So, <laughs> and I personally really like ginger tea. I know some people don't like it because it's like spicy and stuff, but I'm a big fan. Merc, thank you for the primary sub for almost two ding dang years. That's bonkers, but I really really appreciate it. Thank you for resubscribing. Thank you for the continued support. I, it really does help me so much. You've no idea. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why it's taken so long to load today. Are you okay, game? I do. The, the loading icon is happening, but I don't. I don't know what I did to make my game upset. I. I guess my island. Okay, good. I thought my island might be haunted. <laughs> Yes, I need more bags. Yay, I'm glad that Kix is on the island. Thanks, Isabel. Ginger ale fixes everything sometimes, 90% of the time. See, I can't do like soda, um, cause carbonation hurts my tummy. Oh, ignore the outfit. I had to, uh, LaBelle was on my island yesterday and I needed an everyday outfit. Uh, so that is what that is. Gail! Yesterday I wore myself out, so I decided to sleep in and spend the whole morning lying in bed. But I still woke up at the usual time today. Like, I just couldn't wait to wear myself out all over again. I love you, Gail. You're so sweet. I'm lucky. I have quite a few villagers that I like a lot. Oh, Label, how did you like... I got two Taylor's tickets. I'll take it. Alright, that's pretty good. I'm... I accept that. Uh, and then I ordered... Oh, no! Oh, that's right! It was Punchy's birthday yesterday! It made me real happy when you celebrated my birthday. Your present was super neat. I could tell you care about me, Poppy, so let me show how much I care about you! I named my villager Poppy. I I almost never name my Animal Crossing villager my name. Uh, and so I thought, why not continue the trend? <laughs> what capture card do you use? Okay, so I use the Genki Shadowcast. Um, I'm a, a pretty big fan of it, frankly. Um, it is a really nice, it's basically like a USB dongle that just sits in your dock. So the downside is it won't work if you have it like a 2DS or whatever. The, the Switch Lite, that's what it's called, not the 2DS, my lord. Uh, if you have a Switch Lite, it won't work. Um, but if you have uh, a regular Switch dock, it'll work. Um... So I, I like it a lot. I believe they have a, a 2.0 out now. Um, so yeah, it, the downside is I think it like only really works for the Switch, but I like it. Uh, I can show you real quick. There's a little drop down on the left hand side of the screen that lets you control the uh, 
capture card volume, which is nice because you can't normally natively control the switch volume in like OBS and stuff. Um, my house is kind of a mess because I don't have a lot of storage space. Um, and I got some Kiki and Lala stuff and Cinema Roll stuff that I didn't want to have taking up space and storage. So sorry if it's like not super cute yet. I'd have to figure it out. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm happy to help. You don't really? Yeah, no, uh, I, I distinctly remember when I was a wee little child. Uh, I'm going to keep the pink sneakers for sure. Those are cute. Uh, when I was a wee little youngin uh, and I played Animal Crossing Wild World, I had like four different villagers I would play and I would decorate each of their homes or their rooms or whatever. Uh, and I gave them all lore and it was uh, extremely silly, but I liked it a lot. <laughs> Your villager's cute! Thank you! I love the fashion in this game, Lordy Lou. It's one of the reasons I have issue with storage. Um, I literally only upgrade my house for storage reasons, uh, but I need like 500k bells for the next upgrade. Uh, and right now I'm prioritizing um, getting bridges put in. Um, the goal, I would like my village to feel very forest core, very sort of like... Oh, that's right, I built my bridge. I forgot about that. I spent all my bells building this thing. Uh, so I gotta fix my paths now. Uh, <laughs> I really want it to feel like, um, what's the word? I want it to feel like people moved into a forest and then just sort of left it that way. But I also though, I want it to still be a town you can walk around in because there are some designs of like villages like island designs that people do where like you can't it's really hard to like move around you know what i mean have you seen those islands where it's like lots of different layers and items and it's like very cluttered and i think they look really great for social media purposes but i absolutely hate navigating them uh i did it once and it was like cute i guess but it was so much work and i didn't want to do it anymore so uh oh wait no i did this wrong i'm sorry it goes like this. So my goal is I want it to feel lived in and like a little cluttered, but I still want to be able to get around without struggling. <laughs> Sorry, this is going to take a minute. Um, I'm a big fan of like dirt pads. I've done the like stonework pads before, but I don't know. Return to dirt, I guess. There's cinema roll items yet. So there are specialty items that are Sanrio themed. So there's Cinema Roll, there's Pom Pom Purin, there's Kiki and Lala, and there's Hello Kitty, I believe. Um, if you're looking to get those items, they were like a special edition thing, but if you go to the like Treasure Islands, that's how I got them. There's some Twitch channels you can tune into where you can like travel to islands for free and just like get stuff. I don't think I've caught that big old bug yet. Come here. No! No! Come back! Ah! Ah! I got stuck on the bridge. Ah! I'm so bad at this. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Please. Beans! Come back! I might put a bridge here. I might not. I don't know. I think I only get like eight bridges. Dang it! I lost him. Hello, fish. What kind of fish are you? I still have to catch all the fish for April. There's a few that I'm missing. Come here. Sorry, this is not a very good tour. I'm <laughs> I was uh, so focused on getting my uh, path fixed. Um, I will show you. So I have a little baby itty bitty bamboo forest here since the spring bamboo is the big item. Um, I think I'm gonna put a villager house here. I just have to decide whose house. I have most of the houses on the beach still. Um, cause I, that's, I like putting all the houses on the beach first and then figuring out where to put them later. Uh. Penguin, hello! Quality of feature, that, the quality of life feature they'll never add. A little aiming box like in Stardew. I wish. Cause I have bad depth perception sometimes. Um. I want, there's a shell here. Thank you. Uh, at some point, I need to decorate my beaches, but that's like a very bottom of the list situation. Oh, I can show you. Hold on. Let's start. Let's start from the bottom. I have a green airport, which is fine. I was hoping for blue, but I'm not gonna reset for that. This is Gail's house. Gail is a a a, a peppy alligator. She's very cute. 
So I'm probably gonna keep her around, because look at her. She's just adorable. What's the latest, Gail? It's easy to forget to appreciate yourself, to ignore what you most like seeing in the mirror. But I think what I'd say is that I just like seeing me in the mirror. <laughs> Every day we all get a little bit better at being a snacky. I love her. She Look at her. She's Yeah, she's very pink. She got a little heart on her tail. Darth Lou! I can't wait for the Animal Crossing Battle Royale. <laughs> Could you imagine like a Pal World Animal Crossing hybrid? That'd be that'd be nuts. Uh, uh, up here. Okay, so I'm building out this little farm area, but I don't know if I like where I've placed things. So uh, I'm like struggling with the layout of this. I have like my veggie patch, right? And then I have. I still have to get the other fruit trees. I have my little orchard. But I realized, like, I want to put, like, a farmer's market in here and stuff, and I don't really know where to physically place them. Like, those items. So, like, this is, like, I just kind of, like, dropped some stuff here, and I have to figure out where I want to put it all. Um, so I still have, like, a lot of finagling to do. I'm probably gonna keep around the canine tyrant said. You know what I mean. Some villagers are cute and some are ugly. This is Ike's house, but he's not home. I don't know where he went. Uh, and then I built a little, uh, ignore these items I needed to be, uh, get my island rating up so KK would visit. This is my little commercial district. So we have Able Sisters and the museum and the Nook's shop. And then we have a little path Oh, there's Ike and Punchy. They're doing yoga. I think I also have a yoga emote. They stopped doing it when I showed up. That's rude. Hold on. Do yoga with me. I just wanted to be a part of the group. And I guess they don't want me to join them. That's fine. I didn't want to do it anyway, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so this is my little, uh, sort of commercial region. Um, oh, there's Flora! She's, I have another pink villager. She's a flamingo. Hello! Check this out! Boom! Smiles! Come on, Poppy, smile with me! Happiness reactions are awesome! Aw, oh, nice! Thank you! I remember when TikTok went wild for the cat in the maid outfit! Oh man, Raymond. Oh gosh, I know people who got a lot of Nook Mile tickets uh, pimping out Raymond on their eyelids. <laughs> um, I also don't know if I'm gonna put a bridge there because again, I don't remember how many bridges you get. I think you can have up to eight bridges, but I also want to put a bridge here. Uh, maybe that's too many, but I don't want to have to keep a vaulting pole around if I don't need one. It's been a while since I last watched you stream last time you played Red Dead Redemption 2. I loved Red Dead, but I cannot play that game because it it, it is not accessible. Uh, it does not have accessibility settings. It's really frustrating. I like it a lot, but it's going to have to be a game where I watch other people play it. I have a huge beach area here, so I'm thinking I want to build some kind of like beach resort situation. Um, I also put a little, little sand sand art. <laughs> Ooh, a gyroid! Thank y'all. Um, I jumped- I dumped a lot of houses down here because I wasn't sure where else to put them. I'm thinking I want to put a house in this little zone here, potentially. Um, and then I think I might put another house over here. I put- I think Bianca's house is still up over- <laughs> on the side here just because I needed to keep it out of the way. I don't want to keep this house here for sure. I gotta move it, but that's my challenge right now is I have to decide where to put everyone's houses. Uh, that and I need to build more ramps and stuff, but that takes so many bells. It's so expensive. Red Dead Online is a separate game. Oh yeah, no, Red Dead Online is a separate thing entirely. I'm talking like the the core single player game. I really wish I could play it, but uh, it is just not accessible to me, unfortunately. Um, I want to pick up these shells. I need bells, please. 
There we go. I thought I saw one. Also, my island's native fruit is uh, apples. Or sorry, cherries. My apples, my, my apples. My island's native fruit is cherries, but I prefer apples. So you'll see a bunch of apple trees everywhere. <laughs> At some point, I want to replace most of the cherry trees with apples, uh, just because that's what I prefer. Um, there you are, Bianca. I love her. Look how cute she is. She's adorable. I'm, I was so excited when she showed up on my island, man. I was like very, very lucky. Oh, and then up here, I built a little campground. I want to kind of decorate it more, I think. I also have to keep building out the path here. <laughs> But I built a little camping area because I want it to be like a little, I guess, tourist zone? I don't know how to describe it. What uh, recipe did I get? Zen style stone. Oh, this is a um, grave, I believe. Going back to Raymond, when work was slow, I legit tried to find him to get some cash. Yeah, pe I know people actually made fiat currency off of that cat, which is kind of bonkers to think about. Speaking of, Eurocamp season three just dropped. Yes, it's great. I watched the first episode and it was uh, delightful. It was very good. Uh, and I'm, I'm quite happy uh, that we got another season because I love Eurocamp. Uh, I need to build out the path here. Um, but I, here's my challenge is I don't really know what to put up here. So I'm guessing I could probably put some houses on this tier. I know some people organize their island with like all the houses in one place, and I think that could be really cute. Right now, I just have flowers here because <laughs> I just needed to dump them all somewhere. Um, but I think this is the part of my island where I don't really know what I want to do with it. So that's what I kind of have to figure out. I also have to put a bridge here at some point. Uh, and I'll probably put a little walking path here. I want to build a little like stargazing spot for meteor showers. Uh, so I have to figure that out at some point. Ahoy, ahoy, hello! Manny and Marco, hello! I'm uh, showing off my work in progress island. Um, I also don't know what I want to put on this top tier either. I just have a lot of flowers. So many weeds keep growing up here, man. Like, uh, I'll leave one weed, and I'll come the next day, and there'll be, like, 12 of them. And I don't know why. And don't be wrong, I actually really like having weeds on my island, because I think they're really cute. But I want to get a five-star island first, and so you can't have too many weeds to pull that off. I'm not going to keep it. Like, I want to get the five-star status. I want to get the Jacob's Ladder, and then I'm going <laughs> to put trees everywhere. Because you actually can't get five-star status... If you have too many trees, which is a load of malarkey in my opinion. Um, did I miss some? It's fine. I don't I don't mind. Bianca, hello. You're always working out. You're so athletic. I used to see you, Poppy. You're looking perf as ever. Let's chat. Sometimes when I can't wake up in the morning, I run in circles and scream really loud for a few minutes. Whatever gets you up in the morning, girl. Whatever works. Hold on. Uh... Nook mile tickets! I need so many of these. What sucks is I don't have an Uchi villager at the moment, because my starter villagers were Goose the Jock Chicken and Cherry the Uchi Dog, but Cherry moved away. Um, I'm trying to get rid of Hippo. Oh, I don't have a... I forgot to fix up my uh, slingshot thing. God dang it. I have to buy one now. Frig. Um, I, I have the smug villager hippo and I hate him so much and he won't leave. Have you ever built a robo warrior in this game? I built one once. It took forever. <laughs> I want that tractor for my farm area. It'll be perfect. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't need more saplings. Cool. Thank you. Yesterday, there was a grand piano for sale, but it was like 280,000 bells, so I was for sure not going to buy it. Hippo? Yeah, he's a smug yellow hippo villager, um, and I do not like him. All right, cool. I got to get all these 
fossils examined real quick. Been so busy with the new job, but finally I could just watch you while I work. I hope that you stop being so busy because that sucks a little, a lot. Hit him with your net. That doesn't actually work, unfortunately. Um, the key to getting a villager to move out is, it's kind of like a, a what's the word? It's a little RNG based. All right, I'm gonna buy everything here because I like cataloging things. So this is gonna take a minute, I apologize. I need to get back into this game. I was halfway through making a horror island. <gasps> do it, I love when people do themed islands. I think they're so cool. Um, I used to decorate my island every season and it was fun, but so much work. <laughs> do you have amiibo cards for this game? Um, I have a handful, but none of them are, like I bought like the blind box cards forever ago, but most of them aren't villagers that I actually want. I'd have to go double check now. I have to like dig up. I have a little bag of those cards somewhere, I think. Aw, oh, shoot. I don't know if I have that butterfly. Hold on. Kix, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Kix, I gotta go. I don't, I don't remember if I have that butterfly yet. Hello. Come here. Do I have this? No, I was correct. Neat. Surround Hippo's house with weeds and then call the DEA. I don't hate him that much. That's horrible. <laughs> the only way to get a villager out is to isolate them. My understanding was in this game, you have to befriend a villager before they leave. Um, because the game wants to like give you a fair shake in meeting them before they move again. Uh, so like you have to be friends first and then it's just RNG. Yeah, I know you can use the amiibo thing. So I should, I should just see if I have any good amiibo cards. I'm not like, I'm not super picky in that I need to have like eight specific villagers or whatever. I have a bunch of villagers I like. Um, but I would like to get a different smug villager and I would like to get an Uchi villager just in general. Um, I'll grab these because they're going to be cute for fall. Thank you. I can confirm if you don't talk to them for two weeks, they will get the bubble above their head. Oh, beautiful. Then I'm just not going to talk to Hippo anymore because I don't like him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll buy cleats because I don't think I have these yet. I want to get that dragonfly. I love Ribot. I love Ribot. I like the robot looking villagers. If you're doing like a sci-fi island, they're really cool. Um, I'll take a pair of zap boots. And I don't think I have the kung fu shoes either. But yeah, right now I'm like, I really like having a farm zone, but I have no idea. Like, I don't like what it looks like right now. And I can't decide uh, how to fix it. <laughs> If that makes sense. Come here. Come here. Come here. No! Beans! No, I don't want to shake the tree. I want to get the dragonfly. You're kidding. Come on. No. No! Please. Don't fly into the ocean. There we go. Oh, I have caught this one. Okay, I don't know if I had the other one. No, I know how sneaking works, uh, but it doesn't really work with dragonflies because they move too fast. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get back on track here. This is not Hippo's house. This is Hugh. I don't like Hugh either. I want him to leave. He was the first lazy villager that moved in, uh, and I much prefer Punchy. So I gotta get rid of this pig. Oh, but you're crafting. Gimme, please. What stuff are you doing, Hugh? A golden dung beetle? I take it back. All right, I'll learn it. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, 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 goodbye. I was working on getting a scarecrow for my pumpkin and wheat field. Um, yeah, like I have to figure out 
how to change up the farm situation that I have because I definitely would like to put like a scarecrow in it and stuff. I want to get the wheat item so I can because there's like a uh, there's wheat the like food item and then there's wheat like there's like sheaths of wheat you can place as a furniture item and I like those too. It's Goose. He's my jock villager. Um, and at some point, I know I want to build a little like outdoor crafting zone. I might put that by the campsite. But I just like, I need to figure out what to do with this because I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I like it now. Um, but I don't know what to do differently. Like, I don't know if I should change the planting pattern. I'm like really struggling. I don't know if I should put the orchard on this side instead of putting it north. So I like really need to figure that out. I bought the DLC specifically to unlock another place to shop. I was really excited for this. So if you don't know, there's a DLC called Happy Home Paradise. Uh, I could show it to y'all later if you're interested, where basically you like build people's homes and it is basically a like side sequel to a game called Happy Home Designer, which was an Animal Crossing side game for the 3DS where you had no village, you just built houses. And when I tell you, I played that game cover to cover twice. I'm so serious. I was obsessed. I loved that game. I played it literally all the time. So when they announced Happy Home Paradise, that was just like a no brainer for me. <laughs> Cause I also like Happy Home Paradise cause you can like pre-plan what you want your home to look like. Um, I've done that before. You remember a wolf villager in New Leaf that looks like Wolf Link? Um, I know who you're talking about. I've never had him. Um, he's like a, a an amiibo villager. He's very cute. Thanks, Blathers. No, thank you. Maybe buy a grid paper. I've seen some people do that. I've tried it, and I just don't have the patience for it. <laughs> Oh, hey, Dodo Pal's getting a drink. Some of the themes for Happy Home were amazing, like the toilet house, yeah. I just, I like having a design goal. I think that's a lot of fun. Um, but even if you don't like that part, like Happy Home Paradise adds so much furniture. Um, I actually really wanna make myself a, uh, what's the word? I really want to make myself like a stream room in my house. So I have the big gaming desk. I just need to get everything else. <laughs> Thanks, Brewster. I visit him once a day because then I can get a, uh, a Nook stamp. Oh, excuse me. Try a pig that looks like Ganon. Yeah, there's like the Ganon pig. There's the wolf link. Um, I think there's a third. I forget though. I never had... Oh, that's right. There's a Pona. I never had those amiibos. So those villagers were never options for me. I do have some Animal Crossing amiibos though. Like the figurines. Like I have Isabel. Alrighty. So I have a bunch of stuff I gotta sell. Um, I also, I put all of my money trees in this corner just so I don't forget where they are. Um, and then when they're fully grown, they become regular trees and I just replace them. I wish they were in New Horizons though. I agree. It's, it's a shame that they aren't. No, that's not what I want. That's what I want. I'm going to plant this bad boy. Alrighty. Excuse me, butterfly. And then I have my own little like peninsula for myself. I'm gonna decorate this little zone here at some point, but I don't quite know what I wanna do with it yet. You wanna know my favorite wolf villager? Yes, my personal favorite wolf villager is Doby. Uh, oh, Audie's adorable. Audie's such a good choice. The wolf villagers are all pretty great though. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep the tailor tickets. Uh, be, 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 be. I think those are the only ones I want to keep. I'll show you my house real quick. Um, uh, it's not super decorated. I have my kitchen area here. Um, 
it's kind of I just kind of put stuff in here and at some point I'm gonna decorate it but it's it's very bare bones my back room is going my plan is to make it like a crafting room um like almost like a garage space um but for the moment in order to save storage space it's also uh completely full of gyroids <laughs> It's also my bathroom, because I don't have any other rooms, but I have my gyroids wall here. Just because I don't want them taking up space. Uh, and I have my little crafting zone, and then I have my toilet. Yeah, just in case, I guess. Yeah, they watch me while I poop, it's fine. Do you have any tips for me on this game since I'm going to start over? Uh, so... In terms of choosing your island, like if you're if you're like if you want to be choosing a certain island layout, I have a few suggestions for you. Here, I'll pull up my map real quick so you can see the whole thing. So, with your island, um you will always have two river mouths which cannot be moved. So, you have to decide where you're okay with having them. Like for me personally, I didn't want to have two south-facing river mouths. Um the dock size can be short or long. You can't control for that. I got lucky, mine's long, and I like that. Um, the other thing you can't move is resident services. So you have to choose a location where like, you like where resident services is. Uh, for me, I wanted resident services to be far from my airport, which is primarily why I chose this map. Um, starting villagers, like I don't personally care about those because they can be changed easily. Um, but like the things that cannot be changed on your map, river mouths, rock placement, airport placement, resident services, um, and the dock. So in terms of choosing an island, that's what I recommend. If I remember correctly, the beach on the north of the, yes, yeah, the, the beach on the north of the island also cannot be moved. That's where Crazy Red sets up. Uh, for me personally, I didn't care about where that was located. Um, I'm very laissez-faire about that one. Um, other than that, my tip for, like, your first few days is, like, gather all the materials you can every day, because that's just gonna super come in handy. Um, for me personally, I also say, like, don't time travel, like, just play it a day at a time. Um, because I find that I just don't get burnt out on it if I do that. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest tip for the first week is, like, collect as many materials as possible, because you're gonna need them. Just gonna sell all this stuff real quick. Uh, and then I wanna buy that tractor. Thank you to me. Yes. Yikes, I'll take it. Kim Barrel, hello! Welcome, Raiders! How's it going, y'all? Uh, fun fact, that little goofy Gengar mode, I drew that forever ago. Um, in a, like, drawing Pokemon from memory stream. Uh, and I was asked if it could be used as a mode, and I was like, honestly, go for it. So I, I'm very happy to see it. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> how is stream? I'd love to hear all about it. If you have to do a post-stream care, please feel free to skedaddle. No judgment. I always have to pee so bad after a stream, so, like, it's okay. Um, but if anyone's wondering, today we're doing uh, Animal Crossing Island Tour slash, uh, uh, brain, 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 a building, because my island is incomplete. Um, I have, like, a lot of furniture that I just kind of drop down, uh, or, like, I want to use it somewhere, but I don't know where. Um, so I actually kind of need help if people have ideas. I don't like what my farm looks like. I built this farm area and I kind of hate it, and I don't know how to fix it. So, <laughs> if anyone has ideas, let me know. Uh, for now, I'm gonna just dump this tractor here and I'll find a place for it later. I also like having a mic stand for when villagers sing, because sometimes they sing. Uh, so I like, I'm gonna just drop it here for now. Uh, but I like building a little uh, uh, like concert stage. <laughs> Who's your favorite villager? Oh, on my island right now, I think Bianca? I'm very lucky. I have only been playing for about a month and I have a lot of villagers that I like. I really like Gale and Flora and Bianca. Uh, I am also a big fan of Punchy. I've never had Barbara before, but I like her. So 
so far I like most of my villagers, but I want to change a few of them. Oh, I have to cancel this if I want to go try on clothes. Gail is so cute. Gail is adorable. Zane, double raid. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Uh, we're we're doing island show off stuff. Zaniac raid. Hello. How did Helldivers two go? Hi hi. <laughs> Gail and a starian. <laughs> if a starian was an Animal Crossing villager, I feel like he'd be a cat. I've been getting patterns from you. Do you have any more patterns for me? No, okay. Uh, fun fact, Sable is uh, my favorite NPC in the game. When I was a little kid, she was my favorite NPC because I liked that she was shy because I related to her. <laughs> yes, thank you for the Taylor tickets, Mabel, I love you. I miss the pelicans though. They are my other favorite villagers. Ooh. Hold on, what's the most expensive thing I can buy with my Taylor's ticket? It's also prom season right now. The month of April, you can find prom items. Uh, so sometimes you can get like tiaras and stuff. Um, and like these cute little shoes. All right, um, LaBelle sneakers are expensive. The Taylor's ticket, I don't think will count towards that. No, it won't, okay. Well, that's the most expensive stuff. I like cataloging things, so don't mind me. It's gonna take a minute. I wanna like buy everything. Um. Man, I should wear this more often. I feel like it makes me much more inviting on my island. Uh, I think we'll just buy those because everything else is pretty affordable. When do you think they'll release a new Animal Crossing? Oh boy. Okay, so fun fact, Animal Crossing has been a special interest of mine from when I was very, very little. So, quick context for you. The team that develops Animal Crossing is the same team that develops Splatoon, which I have a lot of feelings about. Because um, they are two of some of Nintendo's biggest properties, and in my mind, just make them separate dev teams. Because what sucks is in order to get one game going, they have to sh they have to sunset the other, which which is a huge bummer. Uh, and I don't love that. In my personal opinion, I think New Horizons would have had a longer life cycle uh, if they had been allowed to like, what's the word? If they had been allowed to have their own dev team, you know? Uh, but that didn't happen, so it's fine. Can I wear that? Yeah, no, it's like a helmet. Okay. So I'm like quickly thinking about which items do I not have yet. Okay. Uh, but to answer your question, basically, you'll know when Animal Crossing 5 is in pre-development when they start sunsetting Splatoon 3, which I think is going to start happening. So I would guess um, that they'll, if they haven't already, they'll start development on this game in the next three years, maybe, maybe less. Um, it's very frustrating as a fan of this franchise because I wish that New Horizons had been given more time because it had some really great consistent updates and it felt like pretty quickly they just got dropped. Um, and that's disappointing. All right, I need to buy the firefighter suit. New Animal Crossing in 2030? No, that's more like uh, Elder Scrolls 5 or 6. Um, I'm thinking it'll probably be... Probably in the next three to five years if I had to do like an estimated guess. Um, I will be very excited for when it comes though. I don't remember if I have a pinafore yet. Uh, oh, I want to buy some LaBelle sneakers because they're very cute. Oh, I kind of like the lavender too. Oh, but they're so expensive. Beans. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. 
My body is a mess. Okay. I've been super congested, and I don't know why. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie, after Starfield, which wasn't that great, I'm kind of concerned about the next Elder Scrolls. I have a lot of feelings about it, and those feelings are also concern. Um, I'm a very big fan of the Elder Scrolls franchise, right? Um, Clara, had someone randomly compliment my parking job the other day. When I was coming back from work, a gentle soul left a note on my car saying, parking fine. Bless that random act of kindness. <laughs> Stop, that's great. Hello, Ms. Azoth. Thank you for the bits. Um, so I will say, I never finished Starfield, so take everything I say about it with a grain of salt. But I felt very firmly that Starfield... It had really interesting ideas. Its building mechanics were great. Um, in my personal opinion, I think the design philosophy of hyper-realism got in the way of having fun. That's my personal opinion. Um, but also, like, so much of Starfield felt... I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just found myself not wanting to keep playing, I guess. Like, every time I looked at it in my Steam library and I was like, okay, I could play Starfield. Or... I could play anything else, and I'd much rather play anything else. Um, it didn't make me as a player care about the world I was in. Um, it had lore, but I almost feel like it had different factions with all of this history behind them, and yet... It was kind of hard to learn that history, and you didn't really feel the conflict, I guess? Like, I don't know if I'm explaining this well. Like in Morrowind, for example. In Elder Scrolls III, you have a bunch of different factions, and in-game, the factions that you're a part of impacts how other NPCs talk to you, and it impacts their, um... Barnacles. Sorry, I totally stopped my train of thought. He might ask to move. No, okay, he wants me to play a treasure hunt. Okay, I'll play a treasure hunt. Sorry, I was like, I need to figure out if you're gonna ask to move or not, because I like Goose, but I'd be fine if he wanted to leave. Um, I have to find treasure. Okay. Shoot, okay, I have to go looking around now. Sorry, while I while I do this treasure hunt, um, Starfield. So Morrowind has a faction system. And for example, there's a, a, a faction called House Telvani. They are mages uh, and they hate the mages guild. If you're a member of the mages guild, anyone who's a member of the faction House Telvani won't like you because you are diametrically opposed to their beliefs and values, right? Uh, for me personally, I always felt that Morrowind was a really compelling game because you can't be friends with everyone and you cannot join every faction, which is kind of how real life works, right? Um, and it also, I felt, made for a lot of really interesting playthroughs because you could decide, like, maybe this playthrough I'm going to be House Redoran, maybe this playthrough I'll be part of the Thieves Guild, uh, and so on and so forth. And I, I wish Starfield had done that. Because it felt like Starfield went in the opposite direction of just, like, you can join every single organization, even when they are, like, complete enemies. Everyone loves you. Um, and as a result, there's just not a lot of conflict, I guess. It's a, it's, a, it's a growing issue, I feel, in Bethesda games, in this goal to let you be everyone and do everything you kind of end up not having any values as a player because like, like Skyrim as an example, you're the high, you're the, the, the high mage of like the College of Winterhold, um, which is an organization dedicated to mages in a country that does not respect magic. And yet you can also join the companions 
which is an organization of traditionally Nord warriors who do mercenary work. Um, and you can join that faction even as an elf, which is like kind of antithetical to the whole organization's like history. Um, and then you can also be a murderer uh, who's a member of the Dark Brotherhood. And it's like, in no world would the companions suffer a member of the Dark Brotherhood in their ranks, you know? An oversized sweat dress. <gasps> Wait, I love these. Hold on. Thank you, Goose. Yes, I love these. I've always wanted one of these where it's like a giant sweater dress. It looks very comfortable. I don't like the colorway that much, though. <laughs> I didn't care about the world I was in, although it constantly crashed my Xbox after only a few minutes each time it booted up. Yeah, there was also some technical issues, which was a huge bummer. Um, Starfield is the opposite effect of Skyrim. With Skyrim, you just keep going back. I have consistently played Skyrim for a decade now. It makes me want to crumble to dust. Um, I was just talking about this in the Discord. I have a file in Skyrim that is just an everyday guy. <laughs> Her entire goal is to just build a house in Falkreath. That's it. Right? I'm not going into dungeons. I'm not fighting dragons. I'm not trying to be Thane anywhere else except Falkreath for the purpose of getting a house. And my whole goal is to build that house by hand, hunting and gathering. You know? Um, and I personally love that. Like, it's very fun to just play my little fishing sim. <laughs> Zane, go sleep. Thank you for hanging. But please, 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 go, go get your honk schnoos in. I gotta go play at this gyroid somewhere but I don't know where yet. Best way to sum up what I'm hearing from you, Bethesda's worlds are oceans leagues wide, but are two inches deep. Yeah, for me, I think that's a really good way of summarizing it. Starfield felt as shallow as a puddle. It was very wide. You had all these planets to go to, and yet the planets were full of nothing. Um, they were all sort of copy paste, like, I personally would have much preferred having only like five planets to visit, but that are like hand curated as opposed to like thousands of just randomly generated empty nothingnesses, you know? Um, Starfield felt stale. Like it felt like the Bethesda um, formula, except it wasn't it felt like a game from like 2013, right? Like it didn't feel like a game that was iterating on its own design philosophy. Um, gosh, I have no idea what I want to do with this zone. I really hate it and I don't know how to fix it. Like, I guess maybe I want more space to put down the silo and stuff. Or maybe I put the farm in this zone, but I don't want the farm too close to the shops. Maybe I should move the farm entirely. Oh, maybe I put the farm up on the second layer because I don't know where else to put it. By the campsite, maybe? No, I don't have enough space up there and I don't feel like doing that much terraforming. Ugh. It's so hard to decide. Ugh. I don't, mm, maybe I move the fruit orchard somewhere else? <laughs> no, that's not gonna fix it either. I don't think I like this square layout. I think that's maybe the core part that I don't like. I'd rather five quality worlds that felt unique and memorable, yeah. I started basing my island on Stardew Valley vaguely layout wise, but now I have a huge space where the quarry would go. I ought to revise it, but it takes so long. That's my thing. Like, I don't... I don't want to have to terraform a bunch because I just... I can't be bothered anymore. You know? I just... I cannot. Um, I'm tired, Grandpa. I'm old and my bones hurt. I don't... <laughs> it's so much work, dude. I, don't, I just don't want to. All right. I'm fully just scrolling through Google real quick to get some ideas of farm designs. And I'm thinking, I know how I want to change it up. I've done this before. So first, it's 
gonna be a big pain because I gotta kind of move everything around, but it'll be fine. Someone's probably gonna hate me for this, but I'm one of the few people who actually enjoy Elder Scrolls Online. No, I've heard people love that game. I've played it a little bit and I thought it was like genuinely very good. Um, I do have some feelings about its lore being canon, but that's a totally different conversation. Um, but I maintain that it is a fun game actually. And I think people who don't like it are uh, kind of like purists in a weird way. I think the main reason I had trouble enjoying it was because I kept trying to do stuff and then other people would like take my kills and whatever and I was just like, I just want to sneak around and I don't know. I guess I wasn't really enjoying the multiplayer aspect, I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you, Limes. I also wasn't a huge fan of the combat and I get it, it's an MMO, it's gonna be different inherently, but it just wasn't for me, I guess. Older I get, the more I get, let people enjoy things. Listen, life is short. Embrace your cringe and stop being mad at people for liking stuff, right? Like, people be like, oh my god, Elder Scrolls uh, or Fallout 76 sucks. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, if people like it, who cares? Like, I never played it. It's not really for me, and that's fine. <laughs> like, are there things to criticize? Yes. That doesn't mean we're gonna criticize people for enjoying it, you know? But yeah, I, I do agree with the sentiment that after seeing Starfield, I am nervous for the next Elder Scrolls game. In my, com okay, this is my opinion. I wanna make this so clear. What I'm about to say is my opinion. I feel that Bethesda released that teaser video like six years ago, simply because they were tired of people asking about the next Elder Scrolls game. I wish, if the Bethesda team is no longer interested in developing Elder Scrolls games, that's fine but then get a team who wants to. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Cause in my opinion, like I feel like they did Starfield because they wanted to do a new IP. They wanted to do something different. They'd been only doing Fallout and Elder Scrolls for like a decade. Um, and I totally understand as an artist wanting to do something different and fresh. Um, but my concern with Elder Scrolls 6 is that it's gonna be like, well, we have the franchise and people want a game. So we'll just slurp something out. Um, they already have so much lore, you know? Um, I will say, though, as a huge Elder Scrolls fan, I also feel very firmly that some of that lore has got to get fixed. Um, <laughs> Snagamark, thank you for the follow! Um, Elder Scrolls, like many fantasy properties inspired by Dungeons & Dragons, suffers from some, uh, fantasy racism stuff that's just icky and I'm tired of it. Um, but the best thing is, you Elder Scrolls canonically breaks its canon all the time. Dragon breaks exist. So it's such an easy fix, you know? Like, glaring issues in the Elder Scrolls franchise. Asian people don't exist. Like, if you're trying to role play as yourself and you're not white, you don't really have a lot of options and that sucks, right? Um, I'm kind of a fan of like, I don't know, uh, Nords not being a race, but just people who live in the Nord region or something. I just, I feel like there's other ways to do it. Um, Cause like you can't really be like a Hispanic of origin, for example, right? Yeah, like Red Guards. And let's be honest, default Red Guards in vanilla Skyrim do not have great hair options at all. Uh, and that's a huge shame and it's like, we shouldn't be dealing with that anymore in like the 2010s and 2020s. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm tired of watching people have to mod in hair just so they can look like themselves. That's like, I'm frustrated for people that they have to do that. You know what I mean? Um, like even, uh, I've seen a lot of people talking about um, Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate does have some good textured hairstyles, but not many. And so, so many mods are just texture hair mods, you know? And like, it breaks my heart that people have to do that and it can't just be a default. Like, I will say one of the benefits of Animal Crossing is that it had a, a bunch of hair packs that were added that like added some really cute hairstyles for people, right? And like how great that was. Ah, oh, beans, what do you mean my pockets are full? No, they're not, you're a liar, shut up, hold on. <laughs> Oh gosh, I gotta 
Get rid of all my stuff! I've been holding my wetsuit because I don't want to take up storage space with it. What do you mean there's no room? Shush! Yes, there is. Yeah, those pockets are looking mighty heavy, so we're gonna clean this out real quick. Eh, I'll sell that maybe. Actually, quick sidebar, you know what I really miss? In old Animal Crossing games, you could change the background of your uh, uh, pocket menu by using clothes. And I kind of wish they brought that back, because that was a fun feature. Alrighty. I want to be in build mode. You know you can plant plants on the beach. You can put flowers on the beach. I didn't know you could put farm plants on the beach. That's fun. I've put flowers on my beach before. Or having the roaming nomadic race of traders and entertainers that are thieves and drug addicts. Yeah! Khajiit as a whole, man. Uh, I love them. They're so cool, but like we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do it different, you know? Um, and in my opinion, it's so easy to just be like, Dragon Break, the history changed, problem solved. Who cares? It's fantasy, right? Like, um, radical opinion. We don't need to like do stats based on player race. Let players just choose their stats, you know? Like, I'm all for having racial bonuses. Like, Argonians breathing in water is fun, right? Because they're, like, lizards, and that makes sense. But, like, maybe making red guards have statistically low intelligence is bad and uncomfortable, you know? Like, maybe, maybe we don't want to do that, actually. So, um, again, I'm a huge fan of Elder Scrolls. I love Elder Scrolls. But I think it's also starting to show its age, and I think we need to start asking questions about how to update this franchise uh, for modern players. Because I keep looking at, at like Pathfinder 2nd Edition, and I'm like, why can't we just do that? So only positive racial bonuses? It's more like, um, I mean, the recent games kind of removed the necessity for this, but like having different levels of resistance to disease or poison is kind of nifty, right? Like um, Bosmer, I think have pretty high disease resistance. I think Argonians have really high poison resistance. And like that kind of stuff could be fun, I guess, but I don't know. I feel like it almost is like, treat treat character development like variant humans, maybe. Um, like maybe that would just be less icky. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Make the bonuses off of abilities, not stats. Like, better with magic or swords. Yeah! I think that's a real... There's so many different options, right? But I just feel very firmly that you can't just keep doing what's been done. Um, something's gotta change. I do like the idea of environmental bonuses. Yeah, I'm all for, like, you know, frost resistance, fire resistance, lightning resistance. Like, that can all be fun. Um, Breton's having the, like, magicka resistance is kind of nifty. But, like... I really want, I, I would love to see them move away from like, the high elves are the smartest and therefore have the highest intelligence stat, whereas red guards don't, right? Like, it's just like, mm, man, I don't, I don't feel good about that. I don't like it, you know? Um, so for me, like an Elder Scrolls Six in my ideal world would be doing a lot of like those kinds of changes. Um, if you're gonna call your game a role-playing game, then every gamer should be able to represent themselves. Radical suggestion here, and it shouldn't be, but it's considered such. Um, in the Elder Scrolls universe, Dwemer were dwarves who were architects, and they built all kinds of crazy steampunk stuff, right? They built uh, steam-powered uh, golems and, and automatons, and they had like plumbing and stuff. Why can't we have wheelchairs? that are like Dwemer inspired, right? Like for me, the philosophy of a role-playing game is letting you play as yourself in this fantasy world. Why can't we just give people the option to have like a cool steam powered wheelchair? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. And then some gamers will be like, oh, that's too much work. And I'm like, I don't really know that it is, man. Animal coursing! <laughs> Hyper low! 
Yeah, Warhammer 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of plotting out an idea for a slightly different farm design. Um, I think I might like this better than what I had. I'm thinking I'll, uh... But here's the thing, is I'm still having the issue of where do I put my farming items? I'm still running into that question. Because I want to build like a little farmer's market. I might change where this path runs. Maybe that's going to be the solution. This is where all the fencing is going to go. Do I want to have dirt under the fence? My temptation, my immediate thought process is yes. Yeah, I think so. Give me Elder Scrolls Survival Sim. I think it would also be fun, yeah, to like have the Elder Scrolls franchise um, do more side games. Like, Beans, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I still kind of wish this was just a top-down editor. Having to do everything block by block by hand kind of sucks. <laughs> Beans, come on. I'm not opposed to the idea, but since it's a fantasy world with unimaginable magic, in a world like that, then how are disabilities still a thing? Um, I mean, just because magic exists, like, so, first of all, magic in the Elder Scrolls universe is not something everyone has. It is something you have to study, right? And then you also need money, right? Notoriously, the Imperial cult, the um, religion of the Empire, you need money to, like, get healed by clerics, usually. Um, so, like, even if your, like, limbs are falling off, if you're just some no-name peasant, you might not get healed, <laughs> you know? But also, I guess the question becomes, if we, why is it that we can imagine a world full of dragons and magic and undead, but we can't imagine a world where disabilities also exist? You know what I mean? Um, like, because like these games love having like violent scenes where enemies' arms and legs are getting chopped off, and yet amputees are a bridge too far. You know. Um, it's just like, again, if the philosophy of a role-playing game is being able to be yourself in a fantasy world, I just think it could be nice for people to feel that representation. Because it's optional, right? You don't have to, like, do those things if you don't want to. Let me have my magic artificial limb. Also that! Like, wouldn't it just be fun if you want to have, like, if you want to write, like, a character who's, like, a war veteran, right? Wouldn't it feel sort of true to form that they maybe have some disabilities, like some physical disabilities. I'm just spitballing. Even our fantasy worlds don't have health care. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any tips when starting Skyrim? Um, it really depends on what kind of game you want to play. Um, like speaking for myself, I really like role playing in Skyrim. So I'm always focused on, um, I'm always focused on having a setup. Hold on, did I do my math wrong? I'm so sorry, my brain's not calculating properly, but I think I did my math right. I did, okay, sorry. <laughs> I had to I had to confirm real quick. Um uh I'm so sorry, I lost my train of thought. Right, starting Skyrim. Uh, if if your goal is to do a roleplay playthrough, then I'm always a fan of getting the the uh, mod alternate start live another life where you skip the main start and you skip the whole dragon thing and then just sort of play however you want. Ultimately, like... 
Skyrim is one of those games where I personally feel it's a lot of fun when you're sort of deciding um, what kind of character build you're gonna play. Like, I don't do everything in a playthrough, right? I'm not, like, I have a playthrough where I have an orc, um, sort of a paladin build. She's a sword and shield user with low magic, um, and she makes her loving smithing. Uh, she left her stronghold because she didn't really like, um, she didn't really like the confines of being in a stronghold and stuff. Um, can I edit this? Does it look better if it's curved as opposed to straight? Um, but basically, when I made this character, I said she's going to follow the code of Malakath. She's not going to steal. She's not going to start fights, but she'll end them. Um, and, like, that's sort of her vibe. And, like, that's her character. Um, well, tell me, which do you think looks better? Do you think the left side where the dirt is curved looks better or where the dirt is not curved? Should I not have the dirt on the... Oh, God. I'm, like, struggling to make choices today. Hold on. Real gardens have curves. That's such a good point. Hold on. I can't decide now if I want the dirt under... The... 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 Uh... Fences or not. So hold on. I'm so sorry for being so indecisive today. This is why I always struggle with island design is I have a hard time making decisions. <laughs> Role-playing with Skyrim is so much fun. Yeah, I usually say, um, like what I usually do is I will look at canon um, builds. Uh, so one time I made a character inspired by the indigenous Falafi of Morrowind. So essentially in Morrowind, you have in the, in the game itself, in Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, you have two Dunmer factions. You have the Dunmeri, who follow the religion of the Tribunal. Sorry, real quick, which do you think looks better? Do you think I should have the dirt under the wood or not? I feel like maybe under the fence looks better, but I can't decide. Steve, hello, hello, hello. Um... Mm, I think I do like the dirt. I think, yeah, I think under does look good. Sorry for changing my mind so much. <laughs> I was so indecisive today. Uh, I like your blouse. Thank you. I saw something interesting about this game, how they do the world. Yeah, how they have it on like a big old uh, uh, rolling pin, basically. Um, no, <sighs> wrong tile. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so basically, sorry, to finish my thought, I once made a character in Skyrim inspired by the Velothi, the Ashlanders of Morrowind. Um, they're a nomadic people. Um, they don't believe in the tribunal. They believe in sort of old gods and stuff. Um, and so I built my character around their stats and their favorite attributes. So that can always be a fun role-playing challenge too. Um, but you can also just be a guy, right? But I say find a Skyrim build that you think is exciting. Um, one time I did a role play as a Vigilant of Stendar, which was a lot of fun. No. Do you want to buy my denim cap? Uh, how much? 700 bill? Okay. I like you, Punchy. We're friends. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, they've been doing that since Wild World. Uh, your island is on a giant, uh, uh, cylinder, essentially. Sorry, hold on. I gotta, I gotta curve these. Let me just curve all these real quick. Long time no see, Clara. I hope you've been well. Adam, thank you so much. Hello, thank you for resubbing. I have been well. Thank you for asking. Uh, I'm actually really glad I picked up Animal Crossing because it's helped me like relax a lot. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Lordy Lou. My body's a mess, though. All right. I'm thinking we'll do... Ooh, do I do round on all sides? Oh, gosh. I am so indecisive. I cannot make decisions. I don't know if I want to use this path here, though. I might have to download a different path. Mmm. Yeah. I don't think I like that. <laughs> Clara, I love how relaxing this game is. Also, Clara, realizing that choices are hard and stressful. It's just because I'm indecisive. It's it's a self-inflicted wound. <laughs> um, I don't think I really like the wood planks that I was using. I think I'm going to find a different path to put in between everything. Uh... Help, do I want everything rounded? Mm. Thank you for the snack. I'm so indecisive. Can't make up my mind. Ba -do -ba -do. I think my fear is if I round it too much, it's gonna feel too curated, if that makes sense. Thank you for the treat for helping my brain think. Lordy Lou knows I I need to be getting my brain thinking. Oh, you know what I could download? Which could be cute. Let me find, I'm gonna just on the fly real quick, Google. Um, uh, what does, well, there's like a word for like tilled earth. Um, and I'm looking for a, a custom design that'll let me make it look like it's tilled earth. And I, I know there's like a better word for it. Soil. Let me see if I can find any custom design codes. Found one. Maybe just on the outside edges. Yeah, I'm thinking just the outside edges and then keep the inside ones. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Keep the inside ones uh, straight. Like this. And just have that one corner be rounded. Yeah, I think I like that better. Thank you all for the feedback. I really genuinely appreciate it. <laughs> I really wish sprinklers were a thing in this game. Or irrigation, yes. Uh, like the watering can is fine and dandy until it takes forever to water everything. All right, yeah, I think we'll just do that. Um. Okay, I have a custom design I want to grab. I would like to access the portal. Hold on, real quick. I don't want it to go... <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure if it was going to post like, Hey, you need to fix your Wi-Fi. Alrighty, I have a code I'm going to put in here. I do love that they added, um, they like really improved the custom design stuff in this game. I genuinely love that so much. Good, you still have your account. Nice. Some people get rid of stuff and it makes me sad. Um, this is what I'm looking for. While I'm here. Do you have any other paths that I could use? Nor. Okay. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> 
A la carte, hello! It's going well. We're doing uh, design stuff while I sort of clean up my island and, and start making some decisions, which I'm notoriously bad at. <laughs> that yawn hit me hard. I'm so sorry. I did sleep really well last night, actually. Um, so that was nice. But I am still a smidgen sleepy. But I think that's because I'm still suffering from like a layer of exhaustion. <laughs> Alrighty, that's all I'm gonna do for now. Uh, and then I'll figure out a path to put um, between everything. Wrong menu, I have to be in this menu, which is like a little annoying. I do wish some of the UI was better in these games. Uh, sometimes, like for all the quality of life changes these games had, some of them are like not great actually. Uh, <laughs> and it's kind of frustrating. Like the fact that I can't just buy all the clothes I want at once in Able Sisters, like why? You know the dance they do in the OP of Mashal Season 2? That dance is the dance that Dora does in every episode? No way. Oh, I'm gonna have to rewatch it now. Soccer Punch, thank you for the follow. And also a la carte. I'm so sorry I missed that. Thank you for that follow too. I appreciate it. This is the high octane gameplay I'll tune in for, right? <laughs> is uh, placing down tilled soil tiles. Oh, Punchy! Have a little dance, bud, I love you. Look at him. I do really love the uh, the flower uh, phonograph. It's such a pretty item. Yeah, I think I'm liking this a lot more than it was before. I do wish the clothing shop had a catalog. Yeah, I hate that I have to like, like I wish there was a little icon on items that let you know if you already had them cataloged or not. You know, um, that would have been great. Nor, Brig. This is also why I don't have the patience to redesign my island every season is cause like, <laughs> Hand placing tiles and then messing up sucks. Although now that I'm looking at them. Okay, you're gonna hate me for this, but I'm wondering if I shouldn't put dirt around them on all sides. Like that. Hold on. I'm so sorry about this. I have to... Because uh! I'm worried that it looks kind of weird that it, it just sort of like sits on this corner here. Um, unless I save myself the hassle and just make all of this filled in instead of doing different paths. Hold on, I think the solution is to just make this all. It's a constant dilemma in this game and it's like you can't preview stuff. There's no easy redo button. It's just constant suffering. I think I'm gonna, yeah, uh, eh. 
I think I'm gonna just do this. I will say I absolutely hate how paths look on the map. I hate it so much. It's just this big ugly blob, but it is what it is. Frig! Do you want it to be realistic or aesthetic? Aesthetic. I couldn't be bothered otherwise. If I wanted to, to be realistic, I'd be placing um, red pansies everywhere to imitate marigolds. Keep bugs out. I think I like that more. Yeah. And let me just fix what I was doing. And now I also can sort of save myself the hassle of having to uh, find other paths. I'd put wood planks down. Oh, you know, let's let's see how that looks. That's not a bad idea. I can put them on top of the dirt. But I might get a different wood plank uh, design than the one I have at the moment. Oh, wait. No, I can't. I can still put stuff on top of these, I'm pretty sure. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a different wood plank than the one I have, but I think that's a good idea. Let's clear out my pockets. Nar! How did people put stuff on this? Oh, beans. You can't. I'm tired. I want to be able to put stuff down on this, and I can't. I can only put items. I can't. I can't dig into it. Frig. I did all this work for nothing. Ugh. Dang it. <laughs> God, I forgot I can't dig into this. So there goes that idea. Man, it's so cute too. Ah, oh, thanks Adam. I'm just, I was like, oh, this is gonna be so cute. This is gonna be so cute. And then I got betrayed. All right. Um. So much for that. All right, so at the very least, oh, it's funny, since I replaced it, all the patterns got replaced. Um, at the very least, let me find a different wood plank design. Hold on. The trade by aesthetics. It sucks because it's such a cute idea and it's just not going to work for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. The tilled soil works great if you're working with like mum cushions and stuff. But tragically, I, I don't want to do that today. Um, I want it to be a functional farm. So, where could I find... Some planks. Yeah, pre-farm update farms were really cute. I had like a whole um, apiary situation that I really liked. Um, I would like to build that again, but I don't have the DIY recipe yet to build a um, bee box. There's a word for that. That's not bee box, but my brain is not remembering what it's called. <laughs> it could work if you want it to appear as a field during the fall. Yeah, I just, I don't want to have to redesign my island every season. I don't have the patience for it anymore. Um, uh, 
We'll try this custom design. Hold on. Alright, we're gonna go back into the custom design app. And... Yeah, the beekeeper's hive. It's like a, it's a big old box. It's got honeycomb on it. I want to build a little apiary section. I was thinking it'd be fun to build a fake lavender field uh, where you use purple hyacinths, but that's just because I really like lavender, but I don't know where I would fit that. Maybe I could put that on the second layer. <gasps> oh, maybe I'll do that. It'll be so pretty. I think I'll do that if I can pull it off. Hold on, I gotta get this person's code. Excuse me. I apologize. I'm not bored, I promise. I'm just, uh, sweepy, I guess. I don't know. I thought I slept well, but... Mayhaps I did not. Bop, 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 bop. Searching, searching, searching. Um... Cute, cute, cute. Mm. I don't want to... I need them to be a one tile wide. Oh, it's Eric! I love him! He's so cute. Alright, this isn't what I was hoping for. Um... Oh, sorry. I don't. I don't do friend codes because my anxiety is so bad. It is not you. I promise. Uh, but if you want to share friend codes with other people, please feel free. Yeah, you can use um game chat for sure. I have a custom design you might like. Yeah, if you can post the code in games chat, I would love to check it out because I'm having trouble finding what I have in mind. It needs to be one tile wide planks, and I was hoping to find like a variation of them. So they don't look super samey. I know I could just make it, but that takes time too. <laughs> and I'm lazy a little bit. Thank you for uh, posting this code. Hold on. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you. Hold on. This is a really good option. Thank you so much. I would love to do um, a tour of people's islands if people want to do that. Because I love island tour stuff. That can be a lot of fun. There we go. Perfect. Um... Yeah, I think I'll grab this one. Oh, these are cute. This little... <laughs> it's Tom Nook sanding. That's so cute. I love that. Um, okay, but I want to save this one. And then I want to save this one. And hopefully I can make this look nice. That's the summoning sigil for Nook's raccoon goons. They have some cute designs here. Uh, yeah, I'm done for now. Ba ba be. Ba ba boo. Ooh. Okay. Sore. Yeah, I think this is pretty cute. Thank you for finding this code for me. Frig! Get out of here. 
I really appreciate it. And then we can put this guy here. And I'll get rid of the rest of the soil. And we'll start again. I also want to find some space for, like, manure bags and stuff. But I think I might be able to do that here. I don't want to block off access to the uh, beach, but it might, I might just do it anyway. You have a base darker soil. Um... This is the darker soil. So there's 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 the dark dirt path and then there's the, the like sandy dirt path. I could put this under the planks. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do uh, dodo stuff today. I have so much I have to <laughs> fix on this island. <laughs> I've been spending so much time grinding bells. Oh, no. This isn't going to be what I want at all, is it? No. I hate it. Never mind. Ignore me. Uh, I've been spending so much time grinding bells that I, I sort of let island design fall to the wayside. Frig! Ugh! I never had the motivation for a full island build, but Happy Home Paradise builds were so much more within my attention span. Well, it's also because it's like a more accessible designer. Like, let's be real. It's so much easier when you can just drag and drop stuff uh, from a menu instead of having to physically place everything, you know? Oh, Lordy Lou. Okay. Um... But yeah, I love Happy Home Paradise. I like doing like a build a day. I find that to be a lot of fun. And it just added so many great, um, it added so many great furniture items too. Potaties. Potato yum yum. Tragically, I can't eat them, but they're still fun to have on my island. Yeah, I think I'm still liking this layout a lot better than the last one. Come on, Nintendo, we only need one last big update. Just give us the ability to use Happy Home Mechanic on our main island. It would be such a game changer. I'll spend 10,000 Nook Mile tickets on it. I don't care. If it let me do that on my island, my life would be so much easier, dude. Like, <laughs> let me play the game in a way that is like convenient and doesn't kill my hands by having to hand place every friggin' tile. It's not fun. <laughs> Although, if y'all never played um, New Leaf, uh, in New Leaf, you could place structures outside, but you had to build them. Uh, it would take like 24 hours for them to build. Uh, and it was a huge nightmare. And like, at least you can dra drag and drop furniture now outside. You used to not be able to do that. Um... But I still feel like there's so many features these games would benefit from, you know? Frig. Mm. 
I'm gonna put... Hold on, do I hear? I do! I need the cherry blossom recipes so bad. Oh, but cherry blossom season's over now. Frig! I think it was still cherry blossom season yesterday, so I'm gonna have to just go to Nook Tour Island, or uh, Treasure Islands and get them all that way, because I only got like three of them. It took forever, too. That is one of the things I don't like in this game, is um, seasonal recipes are so hard to come by. Like. In theory, it's fun that they drop from balloons, but I don't have the time to sit around and wait for balloons to drop. I'm an adult with a job. Like, <laughs> I, I really hope in future games, if they're gonna do the crafting thing, that there's like a different way to earn seasonal recipes. Like, I wish it was like a, an actual process of earning them instead of it just being pure RNG because it just takes forever and it sucks. I'm gonna try to keep the uh What's it called? Frig! Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna need to plant more anyways. I'm gonna try and keep all the new seedlings together. I think I only completed one set of DIY and it was the festival event. I did grind for some of them, but it took forever and it didn't really feel worth it. So I'm thinking uh, I'm just going to go to the uh, treasure islands and just do that instead. Because it'll be so much easier. Also getting the Celeste stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I straight up grabbed Celeste stuff from the Nook Miles or the, the treasure island. Because my problem was my bulletin board didn't work for the first month of me playing. I don't know what fixed it, but it was really frustrating because I kept like missing announcements because the game just wasn't telling me stuff. You don't live there. There's supposed to be a fence there. There we go. Okay, I think I like this a lot more. Fun fact, one way to harvest sugar from Sugar King is you squish the living hell out of it to get the juices out. That sounds like it would hurt your hands. I'm guessing there's machines for that. Good, good. Good, good, good. Nice. Okay, I like this a lot more. Um, however... Your garden area is super cute! Thank you! I've been trying to fix it because I really hated it before. Um, I'm still struggling with, like, putting things places, if that makes sense. Like, I like having a silo and a windmill and stuff, but I don't know where to put them. I also want to change the color of this. I gotta, I gotta get the alpacas unlocked. Um, but like, I have, you know, cool tractor and silo and junk, and I don't know where to physically place them. Knuckle, you usually use your thighs. I would believe it. <laughs> it's coming together. Thank you. I think obviously this has to get fixed now because all the, the patterns are wrong. Um. Ugh, Lord. Okay, hold on. Let's let's get this all fixed up. Um, 
I think I like the orchard as is for now. Uh, so I think I'm gonna keep that. Same, though I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with my garden area. Yeah, I was like, just kind of putting stuff down before and then I was, I realized halfway through, I was like, I hate this, but I don't feel like redoing it. Uh, but that's what today's for. <laughs> I still have to get these other fruits unlocked, and I know I could just pick them up from people, but I'm hoping I can get them from Nook Mile Islands or from, um, Cabin Islands, so here's to hoping. Ugh, this is gonna take a while. All right, it's fine. Also, these patterns weren't like this before. I changed the stuff I was using, so don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> I think I still need oranges. If anyone needs cherries, apples, or pears, I got you covered. Otherwise, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what I really miss, actually? Other people have said this. I'm not the first. Um, Animal Crossing New Leaf, you could get all kinds of fruit trees for your beach. You could get lemons. You could get uh, bananas. And I kept waiting for them to add those, especially with the farm update. And they never did. It's only coconut trees. And I'm kind of bummed about that. I'll have to see what my fruit is when I start. Yeah, for me, I'm not gonna restart for a fruit because like I'll get them all eventually, but I always get cherry trees and I don't like cherries. <laughs> I always ever, I'm all of my Animal Crossing Islands, I've always been stuck with peaches or cherries, like every time. Banana trees would be great. Well, so you know what was really fun was um, in New Leaf, and I think, if I remember right, it might be how it works in this game too, but in New Leaf, um, when you were doing Thanksgiving, you had to like prepare a bunch of ingredients because the turkey NPC would be like, I need like three lemons and all of these different things, but it was like randomized. So you always, like I always would spend like weeks preparing all the possible outcomes of that event. And I thought it was a lot of fun. I don't remember the turkey event from this one. I've only done it like once, but I think it was the same vibe. Nor? It's similar. Yeah, I think it's fun. I wish there were more events like that where it's like, hey, help us cook food. It's fun. What will happen if you give a turkey to a turkey NPC? I don't believe turkey is an item in this game, so a whole lot of nothing will happen, I guess. Every Animal Crossing game I played was like one year fanatic playing and then a bit a bit after that. I know exactly what you mean. Um like I, well, so when I first played New Leaf, I was an impatient little goober and I would like time travel all the time and just like grind, grind, grind. And so I got burnt out on it and I ended up giving my copy to a friend because they really wanted to play. Um, and then later on, I like replayed it and I was like, oh no, this is like way more fun now that I'm just like taking it day by day. <laughs> Have you played Shadow of the Colossus? I have not, but I have seen gameplay of it. Frig. I never time traveled. Yeah, I, I'm I'm firmly in the camp of you play your game how you want to play. Um, but for me, I have since learned. Ooh, I have since learned that time travel is not my vibe. Like I, I'll be honest, like sometimes I'll like change the time if I don't have time to play until like 11 at night. I want to be able to shop and stuff, so I'll just make it like I don't know 7 p.m. or whatever. Um, but I'm not gonna like. What's the word? I'm not gonna. 
like time travel like three days in the future just to wait for a bridge to get built or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if New Horizons would have had the impact it had if it wasn't for lockdown. I'm glad it had success because I love these games. Um, but tragically, so sometimes I wonder if New Horizons would have had more consistent updates if it hadn't sold as well as it did. Hear me out. This is pure speculation on my part and I recognize that. So there's a phenomenon. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, stick with me. There's a phenomenon in indie gaming where people will release a game in early access. It becomes the new indie darling, it makes a lot of money, and then developers drop the game, and it never leaves early access, and they just start developing another game instead. And obviously people get really upset because they were so excited, and now their favorite game isn't in development anymore. Um, and the theory is, well, they already made their money, right? Like they already sold like 500,000 copies, a million copies, what have you. Um, there's no incentive for these developers to keep developing this game. And so sometimes I wonder if New Horizons was sort of given the same treatment of, well, we just sold like hotcakes, so we don't really have to, like we already had these updates planned and prepared. We have the assets, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna crank down production sooner because we already made our money, right? Um, and we have to start developing Splatoon three. And sometimes I wonder if that was the attitude amongst higher ups. Again, this is pure speculation, but I do wonder that sometimes. It's so hard to see what I'm doing. I used to build orchards to be way bigger. Um, like, and sometimes I wonder if I should still do that, but it'll take up so much more space if I do. It'll be double the space. But like basically, when I used to build orchards, I would build them so that, like specifically for trees, I would build them so that you'd have like a tree uh, and then, what is it, like one, two? No. I'd build them like two wide, but it takes up so much more space. Oh yeah, I agree, Rocket Blade. Uh, New Horizons had truly the most incredible timing, and I'm glad the game came out when it did. Um, it was really nice to have, it was like the perfect game for such a bad event, right? Because it's like, take care of things and like socialize and you know, uh, I don't regret it for a second. But although, so <laughs> I'm actually, I'm an Animal Crossing fan. I was so stoked for this game to come out. Uh, at the time I had like taken off time from work. I never got time off requests approved. It was the first and only time my time off request was approved because it was a Friday and I like spent months in advance. I let my boss know like three months out, man. Uh, and I had all my coverage and I did all my stuff. Uh, and then a, a small part of me got salty because I was like, I did all that work just to be stuck home anyway. <laughs> I can't wait for the next Animal Crossing game. Yeah, I love this franchise. Uh, I, I, I like that it's, I think one of the best descriptions is uh, Kef once described it as basically a gotcha game. You log in every day and you do your dailies and you take care of your island and you like do your thing, you know. <laughs> Hammy, thank you for the stream streak. Raven Knight, hello. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. I've been having fun. I'm working on a skeb for Raven Knight. Um, if you've never heard, skebs are basically art commissions where uh, you don't know what you get until it's done. It's like a surprise art. Like you tell the artist what you want, but they don't give you any updates until it's done. And you basically are handed a finished piece, right? Uh, and basically every morning I've been like spending some time on that, that, that skeb. And it's been so much fun to work on. I actually just finished the line art today. Um, so I'm starting the, uh, coloring process, which has been very fun. And the hardest part for me is like, I usually in my art commission process, I send like a lot of updates. Sometimes I worry if it's too many. Um, so the skeb process has been really challenging for me because I constantly want to share updates. <laughs> But like, that's not the point, so. 
Um, I've been, I'm holding on to like drafts of things and stuff so I can show the creative process at least. We're so excited to see it. I can't wait. I think I ended up choosing a really fun action pose and I, uh, it's been fun. I'm, I'm doing a sort of like Aarakocra Raven Knight. Uh, and so I had to spend some time brushing up on my anatomy, but it was a lot of fun to like pull up pictures of ravens and be like, oh, like that's how their wings work. And, uh, you know, cause like with fantasy, I still want the physics to make sense. I don't want to just stick wings on the back. I want them to be moving in a way that makes sense. So that was a fun challenge of figuring out like, okay, based on the pose, like what are the wings doing? <laughs> I could never do skib. I want to share work in progress work. Yeah, it's been so hard, but I'm really, I'm being such a brave soldier about it. <laughs> Speaking of dailies, I've been playing a little to the left a lot. A little to the left is great. Um, it's, it's kind of hard actually, but it's a lot of fun. You did some loan as well. Genuinely, one of the things I really like about doing commissions is like, Sometimes a commission will have an element that like I'm not super well versed in, so it's it like for me I think it's really fun to like study up on on like textures or or anatomy. Like especially when I'm doing commissions that involve armor, I'll usually spend some time to brush up on like uh rendering metal cuz I've done it before but like not regularly. Uh and I don't know, for me like I'm a little nerd. I like doing that kind of stuff. I like learning. It's fun. Oh, I was right. Okay, I do need this to extend lower. Okay. Now I'm curious to see the feather texture. I spent a lot of time on the wings. I was just looking over the speed paint actually before stream and uh, I ended up spending a lot of time. I did, I didn't want to over render them because I do need to <laughs> prioritize my handheld. Um, but I did put in, like, I think, let me count real quick. I think one wing has like, Easily, hold on, where's that file? Gosh, easily like 30, 50 feathers and more than that actually, now that I look at it. It's hard too, cause I worry that it looks wrong, but I know that anatomically it's correct cause it's like in perspective and stuff. Uh... It's a lot of feathers, but that's because birds have a lot of feathers on their wings, you know? They're they're doing a lot of stuff with those. The idea of skeb gives me joy, like forgetting that I commissioned something and then getting surprised by a completed piece. Exactly. And also like it's fun to commission something in someone's art style and then just sort of see the finished result. Like I don't know, it's it it yeah, it's kinda like Christmas. It's just like, oh, what's what's gonna what's gonna happen next? <laughs> I think they're fun too, cause um, I'm happy to listen to people's requests if they have ideas for skebs. But for me, it's also very creatively freeing cause I can just kind of do whatever I want within the confines of the request, you know? Um, so it's fun to sort of be like, oh, you know, like I want to do something that's in perspective or I want to do something that's, I don't know, different in some way. Um, and that's quite a lot of fun. I gotta move the cedar tree at some point. It's gonna be a big pain in the butt. Did that work? Hell yeah, I'm a genius. I actually had a hard time to find the perfect armor ref, but I like the one I gave you since it's kind of a continuation of the wing and feather fame theme. Yeah, I will tell you now, there's like a handful of elements I adjusted just because like they weren't quite working with how the like anatomy of this picture worked, if that makes sense. But I was definitely trying to incorporate the wing and feather motifs as often as possible, because it was frankly a really cool motif to put on armor. I want, where's the end? Is it here? Yeah. This needs to extend one tile higher. Nor, Brig. People expect the final result to be exactly what they assume, so they might be more receptive to your interpretations. Yeah, sometimes it is, I think, 
something that I'll explain to clients who haven't commissioned art before is like, if you have an idea of what you want, you have to communicate that to me because like, as an example, if you're gonna tell me a character has blue eyes, there are so many shades of blue, right? There's cobalt and there's powder and there's azure and there's cyan and like there's there's like all these different saturations and, and colors and, and varieties. Um, and so I'll tell clients like, if you have an idea, like you need to make it very clear to me because what you think is blue and what I think is blue might end up being very different. I learned something about wings for humanoids is that they have a downward bone and muscle before the actual wing. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Clara, what do you see blue? What kind of blue? Yeah, and then people are like, what do you mean blue? And I'm like, I I can show you a color palette of all colors that are technically blue and I, I need it to be narrowed down or we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> It's why I always encourage people, hey, guess what? If you're going to commission someone, you know what colors you want, please get a color palette. Um, please, please, please. At this point, I don't do commissions unless you have a color palette ready because I don't... It, it's hard for me to constantly do guesswork, you know? <laughs> Thank you for the commissions. Uh, uh, <laughs> spam, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to have to move some stuff around, but that's okay. That's the whole point. For me, it was easy. 90 anime, 90s anime eyes are love. Yes, I I thought that was such a great instinct. Um, I could probably actually do more with that now that I think about it. Okie dokie. Time for some... Oh, wait, no, hold on. While I have this open, let me put my fences down. Or my, my wood planks down here. I'm so glad I'm streaming this process because it is really not fun to do it by yourself. <laughs> At least I have company, you know, to talk to while I just hand place tiles and junk. And we're gonna bink, ba bink, ba bink. Is this all complete now? Yar. Okay. So let's place the rest of my fence. Doopy do, doopy. No. Doobie doo. Doobie doo. Oh, you know what I could do? Maybe I'll make Ike's house a farmhouse and I could put the tractor up here. Uh, hold on. I'm going to pull the strings on this real quick. So that might be a solution. I just have to fix the pathing here. I kind of broke it a bit. Scotty, hello! I appreciate that lurk! Hi, hi, hi! Bip, bip, bip. No! God, please. <gasps> Gosh, okay, there we go. All right, now I gotta fix all my dirt pads again. Four heck months. <laughs> I really appreciate the 34 ding dang months. I, I I appreciate that so so much. 
Thank you for the continued support. I'm very appreciative when I say that uh, I, because of everyone's kindness, um, I am eligible for the PLUS program next month. So I'm like really super grateful for that. You know what? I don't want this to be too blorby, so we're gonna finagle this a little bit. A little smidgeroon. That means more money? Yeah, so basically the plus program on Twitch has two tiers. Tier one gets, so the normal sub split between Twitch and a, and a streamer, um, unless they have some sort of specialty contract, which is rare, um, the typical sub split is 70-30 Twitch to the streamer. If you have tier one, then you do a 60-40, and if you have tier two, it's a 50-50, I think? I might be misremembering that, so I would double check. I might, I'm not the best with numbers, so I could be bungling those. Ew, hippo! Jump scare. <laughs> Get out of my beautiful orchard, you creep! Ugh. Icky, go away. There we go. That feels a little bit less intentionally placed. Um, Let's see if I like this or not. I don't like that not every sub counts the same. Yeah, so sub points, it depends on if it's a tier one, tier two, or tier three. Um, yeah, I think I'll put the silo there. That feels like it makes sense. And then if I really want to, I can get out by going this way. So I do have a workaround. I kind of want to build a workaround into the orchard too. That goes into the tree, right? Because again, I like an island where it's really easy for me to get around. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then, so I can remember where that spot is, I'm going to plant a flower. Haha, I'm a genius. So now if I really need to, I can get in and out. Doesn't help that he gets the color scheme of a sinus infection. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. It's kind of tragic. All right, let's go fill the fi fix the path up here. Um, I think I'm going to redo Ike's house at some point, and I also want to put some, like, fencing around his house and build him a little yard. Sorry, I totally misremembered. Thank you, Alroy. Normal is 50-50. Tier 1 is 60-40. Tier 2 is 70-30. I totally had my numbers crossed. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to be giving misinformation. I just straight up could not remember how math work. Uh, I recommend putting invisible paths on that flower so it won't multiply. I'm going to just leave it. I don't mind if flowers multiply. Um, I'm probably going to put invisible paths behind trees at some point. Because I hate when stuff spawns behind trees and I can't see it. Yeah, we'll just do that. That's fine. So I'll be a tier one uh, plus program member. So I'll get the 6040, which is truly already a boon. Um, I don't want to push for the second tier because that's like 300 something sub points a month. And that feels like a lot to ask for. Um, and already like a 6040 split is so good, you know? I need to move this tweet. It is too close. Is the 60-40 for subscriptions only or gift subs too? I don't know. A hundred percent. I'm gonna be honest. I don't I don't know if I feel like I could answer that question confidently. I have to read into it again. 
Oh, I have to think so hard. Just go here. Nor. Just go here. And then... This go here. There we go. Just do two of these. Nor Brig. Queens. There we go. So like putting a tree here, so I am gonna put that tree back. Perfect. That's all fixed. Yeah, I'm liking that so much better. Ugh! I'm getting jump scared. All right, let me go grab the rest of the um, produce that I'm gonna need to clean this all up. Okay, gift subs do fall under the split. Prime subs do not. That sounds right. Thank you for checking. Do you have any guidelines for fan art of Clara? You know what's ironic is I don't actually, I should make myself a reference sheet because I don't actually have a pro, like I have one, but it's it, it's not really proper. Um, honestly? <laughs> Penguin, thank you for the bits. I keep, why aren't you aiming right? Thank you. Um, more like what you're okay with? So, I've, my stance is, like, do whatever floats your boat, so long as it's not, like, hate speech or something. Um, selfishly, if I can make any request, if you're gonna do Rule 34, my only request is that whatever it is, is consensual. Um, because, like, the reality is, like, Rule 34 exists, right? Like, regardless of my feelings on it, right? Um, so if I can make any requests, I just want it to be all adults who are happy to be there. <laughs> uh, otherwise, like, do whatever floats your boat, you know? Because, like, I think it's really flattering when people want to make, uh, uh, fan art, right? Like, that takes time, that takes thoughts and energy, so I'm just, like, grateful to be considered, you know? Uh, we'll put another- No! Norse! Chap! I'm gonna put another orange here. I'll put another orange here. And then I'll put another green and another yellow. Aesthetic. Yeah. No only Fords? No, as of as of right now I have no plans for that personally. As someone with a math PhD, this is too much math. <laughs> Listen, I'm always in the camp of too much math. On the bright side, at least I'm getting a uh, nook stamps. There's nobody meant I'm joking, you're fine. It's all good. Balloon! Of course now, I should have done this when it was cherry blossom season. Increase my chance of friggin' finding stuff that I need. Ooh, I could put a kettle in my kitchen. Alrighty. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. 
Oh, giving tips? I don't feel qualified to do that at all. Because, <laughs> like, I think the fun of Animal Crossing is, like, everyone's aesthetic is going to be different, and aesthetics are all subjective anyway, right? Like, some people would say, oh, like, your island needs more clutter, and other people would say, like, oh my god, no, like, that's the last thing you need, right? It's all, it's all so subjective. I think ultimately, like, finding a few aesthetics that you like can really help with deciding what you want your island to look like. For me, I was like, I want this one to be very forested, um, easy to traverse, um, and... Uh, just lots of, like, natural elements with farmland on this side. I really do like the idea of making that lavender farm. I think I might build that, but I have to get hyacinths first, and I haven't been able to find any yet. It's very annoying. There we go. So now... Water everything. Go sleep. Thank you for hanging. And then I just have to grab these three real quick. My island is based on my D and D PC's hometown. I love that. There's so there's like there's like medieval core. I've seen people do city builds, which I think are really cool. Um. You need hyacinths? Just say hi to your wife. <laughs> anyone doesn't know, uh, as, a, as a wee child, I was obsessed with Cynthia from Pokemon, and that really should have caused me to, like, think and pause more, but nope, my, I was like, this is a totally normal. <laughs> um, I want to go plant that gyroid. The only problem with my island is it is overgrown by flowers. Yeah, I've seen some people build like flower patches to literally keep their flowers contained. Um, I just let them grow wild and then sell them as they become too populated. I've heard it from enough VTubers, Cynthia's Everyone's Awakening. I'm so glad I'm not the only one. Like genuinely, that's kind of comforting. <laughs> what do you mean there's no room? I can't, I can't fit a whole Watering can here? What are you talking about? What kind of malarkey is this? Yeah, that's right. Liar. Tell me I can't place stuff. I don't know where to put this tractor. Loop it, do, 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 do. I'm gonna move this guy somewhere else. I think I can shove the tractor here. Actually, no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ike, you're a farmer now. I'm assigning you the role of farmer. You're gonna have a tractor in your yard. <laughs> nope, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Yoink. Okay, I have a question. What fence should I use? Ike's house, by default, is like a big garage. I'll probably do Happy Home Paradise stuff to change his interior, because it's, like, not really a house. Um, what fence should I use for this yard? Oh. Uh. Long brown planks. I was thinking of maybe using the barbed wire fence, but maybe not. Um, you know what I have to do, actually? I wonder if there's fences I can get from the nook stop. Hold on. At some point, yeah, I really want to build a little crafting zone outside. Because, like, if you have visitors who want to craft, you know, not that I, I know if I'll have visitors very often. Even sometimes I'm outside and I want to craft stuff. Um, do I have anything in here? Boo. What, what can I buy with my Nook Mile tickets today? 
I don't think I have the spiky fence yet. Let me double check. Hold on. Do I have the spiky fence? No, I do not. I was right. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. It'll warn you if I already have it. I forgot. <laughs> oh, well. Just wasted a bunch of time, I guess. It's fine. Uh, no. I want to go into my, whatchamacallit, nook shopping. Don't believe I have KK Mambo yet, so I will order that. Any seasonal stuff? No, just the prom stuff. Okay. You don't have the body paint yet? Yeah, I just I've been saving Nook Mile tickets for other stuff. <laughs> or Nook Mile points, I guess. Um cuz I don't really plan to use the body paint anytime soon. I'll get it eventually, but I'd rather hold on to Nook Miles for uh ticket purposes if I decide I want what are we talking about? You know what? Actually, I don't care, Hippo. I don't want to talk to you. Um, you know what I also want to do? I want to build like a little park area here, I think. Because this is my commercial district. I should really figure out how to flesh that idea out. Like I want to put like a little fountain and like benches and stuff. Maybe I'll clear some space for that. I also got to buy different bushes. I should go talk to Leaf at some point. The only NPC I have unlocked on Harv's Island is Leaf because I really wanted to get all of the uh, uh, farmable produce. And then I can also buy bushes from him. I wonder if he's selling hyacinths today. I don't know if he ever will, but I should go see. Oh, hold on. Let me clear out my inventory space a little bit. The hippo hate is real. I'm sorry. He is this chartreuse mucus blob born into reality, and I'm just not a fan. I'm I apologize. <laughs> home sweet home. I'm gonna just put all this uh, produce into my storage. I do have more storage space now, but I don't want to clog it too much. What hat is this? I already have a black denim cap. Dang it. I have one in storage. All right. Chartreuse mucus blob born into reality. Yeah, I said what I said. I, I, where'd he go? Look at him. <gasps> Please tell me you want to move. God dang it. Ugh. <sighs> Thanks. Yeah, I, I love it. Thank you. All right, let's see. What does this table lamp look like? Eh. Oh, I forgot about the outside storage. I totally forgot about that. I only talked to him because I wanted free stuff or to see if he wanted to move, but no dice. I'm gonna fly over to Harv's Island real quick just to see if he's selling hyacinths or not because I want to get purple hyacinths. I think it'd be really pretty to build a lavender farm. Let's go! Oh, 
Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to breed purple hyacinths, but that's fine. I can be patient. I think, oh, I don't remember. I think it's white and blue, maybe. Hold on, let me see. Uh... Oh, no. Um... It's just two blue, blue hyacinths make purple. Thanks, Wilbur. Hi, buddy. What do you have for sale today? Um... Gosh darn it, I don't think he's gonna ever sell hyacinths, because he only ever sells roses and mums, I swear. Frig, dude! Does anyone have an island that sells hyacinths? <laughs> Dang it. It was worth a check, I guess. Oh, I don't want to take yours. I don't mind breeding them. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to steal your flowers. Besides, you can carry a lot of seed. You can carry more seed bags than you can carry flowers. I appreciate the offer, though. It's very By nice. Three years mark is right around the corner. Arachnids, what the frig? Thank you so much for the 33 months. I appreciate your continued support so much. God dang it, frig. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Ugh. My body's collapsing. Um, I want... Let me just see, just to see what's in the cabinet today. Oh, you know what? I can probably find a treasure island that has seed packets. Maybe I'll just do that. Um... I want a light stick. That's not what I came here for, but I want it. Thank you. Oh! Shut the front door! We have hyacinths! I forgot that you get more flowers when you upgrade! Ah! I forgot you get more flowers when you upgrade! Okay, I need or orange hyacinths. You're joking! Yes, no. Orange wind flower. <laughs> no! Uh. Okay. Alright, here's a busted alternative. I can breed white and red hyacinths to get orange. Oh, orange is also hybrid. Never mind. Okay, so I have to make the orange first. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sorry. Never mind. Crisis averted. So, I'm gonna clear a bunch of space for flower breeding. Uh, yes. All right, I'm so glad I thought to check here because I forgot that you get more flowers when you upgrade. I just like totally forgot that happens. It's so embarrassing. I'll take a bazillion, thank you. I think my favorite flowers in New Horizons are mums and hyacinths. Um, this is adorable, I want this. Oh, I love a good caprese sandwich. I can't eat them anymore. Because I can't eat the tomato, and then it's just cheese and basil. <laughs> Although when I was a little kid, I didn't like raw tomatoes, so I would always take my tomato out, and everyone was like, girl, just order something else. You're so weird. <laughs> Hello, Bianca, my beloved. Okay, so... We're gonna go... Clear space for my... Oh, I have beans. I also need to go grab my watering can. Hold on. I also like putting flowers based on the zones of my island. And that maybe sounds silly, but hear me out. Like, in my mind, I like putting tulips in, like, commercial regions and, like, r residential regions. Whereas, like, I put mums... And 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 uh, windflowers in the more wild parts of my island. 
Um, pansies, I just kind of put them everywhere, honestly. My island started with wind flowers or cosmos, I think? No, it started with wind flowers and lilies, I believe. Oh, little campground. Oh, I gotta put this path in at some point. Um, but first, frig. Let's move a bunch of flowers around. Does anyone have a suggested planting pattern to get the most out of your flower breeding? I think... I think I know what it is. We're gonna plant a white one here. We're gonna plant a red one here. We'll plant a red one here. Then I'm gonna have to move some trees around to really get some space. But I think I'm gonna, I don't know where I'm gonna put this hyacinth farm, so I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to block out some space for it. Uh, shoot. Oh, you know what? I think I know where I might put it, actually. I'll show y'all once I get this all done. Okay. Red, white, red. I have so much channel points. I, yeah, some people really just hoard them. I always forget to use mine on other channels. <laughs> I'm only at 127k. What do you mean only? What do you mean only? <laughs> Yes, in New Horizons, you can use the toilet. That's why I held on to it. Um, if you eat too many um, foods and you don't want to accidentally break a rock or something, you can poop it out. Fun fact. I don't think there's a point in watering them until they're grown, now that I think about it. It's so funny. I'm glad that they they thought it through, right? Cuz it'll it'll suck. Uh It would suck to like want to be building stuff and messing up on red, white, red, white, red. 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 Um Excuse me. Thank you. For flowers, watering is only for breeding more. Yeah, that's what I thought. And they have to be like fully grown. When I played Animal Crossing when I was little, eating fruit didn't do anything, but I would still force my villager to eat every day because I was worried that she would be hungry. <laughs> Um, neat. We're gonna take this guy, actually. I hate blood moons and tears of the kingdom. I hate blood moons, period. They always make me so scared. I am little baby. Uh, yeah, I'll just plant this hyacinth somewhere else. Just for fun. And actually, this will be great, because it'll be right next to my house. 
So that'll be really easy to get to. So that's all handled. I'll go put my watering can back. Actually, let me grab this stool. I personally love using stools for placing items on things. Um, although I usually prefer using the wood to the stone, but I think I have more stone than wood at the moment. I see a balloon. Hold the phone. Come here. Hey, you. Come here. Ha-ha! I'm a sharpshooting genius. Hanging guide sign? I imagine I can't place that because it's a physical object. All right, I'm going to go plant some of these mums real quick. I think I'm gonna put them up by the campsite. Cause the yellow ones make me think of dandelions a little bit. So we're gonna go up here. I should probably move a villager's house. I should get them off the beach. Feel kind of bad having them all <laughs> living on the beach still. Um. Should put a bench over here too. How did you get that plant in a pot? Which one? Hold on, I think I know which one you're talking about. Let me go. Hunt it down. Oh la 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 This one over here? This plant in a pot? Uh, if it's this item, you're- yeah, uh, if this is the one you want- Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, b -b 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 the bonsai? This one, the cherry blossom bonsai? This is a cherry blossom recipe. Uh, so this is from cherry blossom season, which, like, just ended, like, two days ago in-game. Um... Cherry blossom bonsai! Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go find a treasure island and just grab the rest of those seasonal DIYs because I don't want to have to hunt them down. <gasps> Hold on. No, ignore me. I don't exist. No! I love getting pictures of them hanging out and they always get up. Oh, this is my other beach that I have to fix up. This is where I initially put my uh, tent when I was uh, first playing the game. Because I just needed to keep it out of the way. I've never seen one fully made. The, the cher I love the cherry blossom recipes. They're all so cute. I have to go get the DIYs because I really love the um, handbag, the cherry blossom pochette, it is called. Um, I also like the rug a lot, but I did thankfully get that one. So I have that at least. Yeah, there's also the pine bonsai from Pinecone Season and it's similarly also very, very, very nice. Man, at one point when I was playing this game, I would color coordinate all of my flowers for the different seasons. It was a giant pain in the ass, and I don't recommend it. <laughs> it was, like, fun as a thing to do, but it took forever. It was very draining. Okay, so I have some flowers out of my pockets. At some point, I gotta clean up my flower situation, but I want to focus more on big picture stuff. I think I'm gonna put a house here. I have to move some trees around. I forgot to do the cherry blossom recipes. Yeah, same. So I'm just going to go to a treasure island and hopefully pick up some petals that way. I did. I collected as many petals as I could, but I don't know if I'll have enough to build everything. So I got to go hunt those down. All right. Who am I going to move here, though? I think I'm going to leave... Um, Flora's house here on the end. I think I'm going to move... I always forget. This is Hugh's house. 
It's not a big move, but I think I'm gonna move Hugh over here, just so that I can give Flora more yard space. So let's do that today. Hey, Nook. Punchy, why are you just watching Goose's squats? That feels a little voyeuristic. Jose, hello! Do you ever look up Jajinkas of AC Villagers? Not regularly, but I have seen them. I've seen some really cute ones of Isabel. Oh, I like that theory. Punchy's Goose's personal trainer. <laughs> That's great. Alrighty, we're gonna move Hugh's house. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I still have to figure out where to move everyone else, though. Because I still have Punchy on the beach, Barbara on the beach, and Goose on the beach, I think. And Bianca. Shoot, I gotta move four more houses, and I don't know where to move them. I was also thinking... Uh, <laughs> gotta work on them wings. <laughs> I was also thinking, um, as an homage to the old... Animal Crossing games, I was thinking of building a little town dump. Because uh, if you didn't know, in, in I think the first two games, there was a, a town dump where you could just like find garbage. And it was also a place to throw things out because garbage cans didn't have a purpose at the time. Um, so it wouldn't really serve a purpose now, but I think it would be fun to build. Um, even just for the nostalgia of it. I forgot about the dump. Yeah, you could like sometimes find clothes and stuff in it, which was kind of great. Um, I don't know where I would build it though. I think I know where I might build it. So, I could potentially fit a house over here. Um, but what I wanna focus on is this little chunk of land. I was thinking this is where I could put the hyacinth farm and call it like a lavender farm. I'm afraid that means the left side of my map is very farm heavy, but like, that's fine. Uh, but I'm thinking that's what I might do. Either I put the hyacinth farm here or I put the dump here and a house. I gotta start placing stuff down, dude. I gotta start figuring this out. Hold on. Um. So I want the dump to be on this first layer somewhere. This is resident services. Could put the dump here. Maybe? I guess there's nothing stopping me from putting it on the second layer, but, uh, mm. Hold on. Let's stick it here. This might not be, you know, this might be a pretty good spot for it, actually. But maybe that's too central. I'm so indecisive. Ugh. Um. Is it weird that I buy bananas just to let them get over ripen so I can make banana bread? Not in the slightest. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it here because it's like kind of out of the way and like people don't have to smell it. Yes. <laughs> Poppy is so indecisive and stabby. Anyone's wondering. Uh, I genuinely do like the name Poppy, but the memes are based on a book series uh, where the main character's name is Penelope, but everyone calls her Poppy for reasons. Uh, <laughs> and the books sort of flanderize her uh, to the point where, like, she's constantly threatening to stab people, and everyone's like, Oh, hee hee hoo hoo, this silly little girl is constantly threatening to stab people, and it's like a really weird vibe, frankly. Yeah, the quote-unquote spicy book series, it is, is certainly for adults. Um, please do not, uh, uh try to get that without having adult supervision. Um, okay, so, I want to build the town dump in the style of old school Animal Crossing. So I need 
Give me a second. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for a very specific type of custom path that I would like to try to use. All right. Um, well, hmm, either I do it old school style or I do it... No, I kind of want to do it old school style, I think. It's hard to choose. Basically, if you've seen the older Animal Crossing games, there was this sort of, like, tree stump type design to the dirt. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think I might use that instead of dirt, just because it's fun for the nostalgia. But dirt's going to be easier. Oh, I'm so indecisive. God dang it. No, I'm going to keep it simple. I don't feel like hunting down more custom designs. Ghost, thank you for the 31 months. Thank you for continuing your subby sub. All right, you know what I have to do, actually, before I keep placing this? I need to build some barbed wire fences. So let me go home. It's going to rain. I don't want it to rain. But it's getting all overcast. Shoot. All right, I need, I think, iron and wood for this. Justice for Kieran. Listen, if you learn nothing else about the From Blood and Ash franchise, all you need to know is that Kieran deserved better. That's all you need to know. Poor guy. He's just shunted off to the corner all the time. Okay, I want the barbed wire fence. Where are you? Hardwood and iron nuggies, that's what I thought. Shoot, I need so much more hardwood, god dang it. I'll probably only need like 20. Hard, up, hard, up, up. I might only need 20 fences, so I think I'll just build that and see where it gets me. We stand cured in this household. <laughs> I, I would like to emphasize the fact that the From Blood and Ash franchise is for adults. It has smut in it. Please do not read that if you are not over the age of 18. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. Quite frankly, I can't really suggest the franchise because it gets real weird real fast in a not fun way. And it also gets gratuitously long in a not fun way. Um... Oh, you know what I also need? I think I have a recipe for a sign. I do. I have the plain wood shop sign. I'm going to build that and make a little dump sign. Okay, can I find a little dump? Uh... Dump custom sign, because that's what I would like to find as well. Sorry, hold on. I gotta, I gotta see if I can find it real quick. this one will work. Sorry, don't mind me just on the fly looking stuff up. There's a website where you can make custom Animal Crossing designs by picture? I did not know that exists. That's phenomenal. Um, I've never done a bunch of custom design myself because it requires a lot of patience that I don't have. <laughs> I'm like, why should I do it when I can just Someone else has already done it, and they've done it better, you know? Uh, but I think I found one, so I'm good. Thank you. Was that the Omegaverse book you talked about? No. Well, so From Blood and Ash is, like, 
Omegaverse adjacent in that it has faded mates and it has pseudo werewolves, but it's not Omegaverse in its true iteration, if that makes sense. Like, I wouldn't say that it is a Omegaverse series. I think it has borrowed some tropes from Omegaverse, but in of itself, I don't think I could make that argument. Hold on, I can't read numbers. No! They don't exist anymore! Wait, hold on. Hold on, I typed it in wrong because I'm a ding dong. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. We might be safe. You know what I do miss from a uh, early Animal Crossing lockdown was going to friends' islands and decorating their bulletin board with art. I loved doing that. Although some people just kept doing copy pastas, but that's fine too. Yes. This is what I want, please. I'll just stick it here. It's Omegaverse flavored in the same way. LaCroix, LaCroix is water. <laughs> I really like that comparison, yeah. Is this what I come back to? Let's be real, it always comes back to Omegaverse, all right? I was actually talking to Pren about how there's an anime this season that's an Omegaverse BL, uh, and I never really thought I'd see the day, so that's kind of fun. I feel the same way about Bloodborne. I'll be strawed if one player named Zuli the Witch ever quits for good and deletes their characters. <laughs> yeah, like some people, like they'll make these really beautiful designs and then they delete their account and it's like, no, I was looking forward to that. I'm hoping, do I have the trash bag DIY yet? No. Oh, I wanna get the trash bag DIY. I think I'll make the tires and put these in the dump because I have a bunch of old tires just rotting in inventory. Yeah, I have a bunch of these. <laughs> I don't know how to feel after reading Omegaverse flavored and I am using all my mental power to not expand on that thought. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah, we're gonna turn the dump into like an actual proper dump and it'll be nice. Cause also, Isabel keeps telling me that my island isn't uh, more stars because I don't have enough crafted items, so. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm hoping that this sort of helps resolve that. I both want and don't want to know. We were just talking about like whether or not a certain series was technically Omegaverse. Oh, but for the anime. I believe it's called Okairi Tadaima? Tadaima Okairi? I I don't remember, I'm so sorry. Um, but basically it's a series about uh, two guys who are like married and have a son and they had Canon Empreg. And my understanding is it's just like a slice of life of them raising their toddler, uh, which is like objectively adorable. Um, but like it's technically still a megaverse. There's like a mating bite and everything. So eat your heart out, I guess. How did you get the Sanrio items? So my understanding is that they were like a limited edition situation. Um, I got them from Treasure Islands. Basically, there are some Twitch channels that just operate a bunch of islands where you can um, basically obtain um, whatever item you want, really. Like, they're organized usually. Some of them will have DIYs. Some of them just have clothes. Some just have furniture, stuff like that. Um, and so I just found an island that had Sanrio items and picked them up that way. Because I think otherwise they were like a super limited edition item that like no one could ever get their hands on. And it was like a big pain in the butt. So uh, there's more than what I have too. Um, those are only some of the, or most of the pom pom, no, I'm sorry, uh, most of the cinema roll and Kiki and Lala items. 
I still have my Sanrio cards for those. Yeah, the Sanrio cards were like constantly sold out, so I can never get them, which sucked. I was very salty about it. You know, I think I'm actually gonna build this one tile north. You know Mifa? Yeah, I love Mifa. God, my heart breaks for her. That sounds precious, honestly. It is extremely cute. It's I haven't read it, but I've seen like the clips and it it seems like a very sweet series. <laughs> For our next party game, guess the fandom by the popsicle flavor. That is a very silly idea that I actually like a lot. Look up Mifa for the AC pattern site. Oh, I'll check it out later. I, I'm kind of like, I only go shopping for patterns that I know I want because otherwise I will clog up my entire like uh, uh, inventory. Um, Cause you only get so many pattern slots. So I just, I just sort of pick them up as I go. Or if I like, sometimes I'll occasionally get like a video where someone's showing them off and then I'll pick them up. Cause it's like, ah, oh, what in realm? But nine times out of 10, I just, I just uh, <laughs> do what I've been doing where I just sort of go to Google and hope for the best. It's not maybe the most efficient method, but I am lazy and it works. Yeah, I think this will be big enough. Brig. Remember to drink and eat a good hearty meal. It's the end of the week and you made it. You did good. That's a very sweet sentiment and I should make lunch. <laughs> but I'm having fun playing video game. There we go. But now I have a nice little public dumping ground for garbage. Also, Kibo, thank you so much for resuming your your sub. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, cool. I'm going to go grab... I had a garbage can item that I can put in here. Where did I put it? Here you are. And then I'm gonna go move Hugh's house. Cool, and now if people visit and need to throw stuff out, they have a place they can do it. I remember how expensive those Amiibo cards are. I think they were like, if I'm remembering, I, I think they were like a Target exclusive. And so like there were all of these rules at my local Target about like how many cards you could get because they were having so many issues. It was like a whole production. I didn't even bother. I was like, I don't, I don't have the budget for this. You can still get a single card you want off Amazon. I'm good. Honestly, with the Treasure Islands, I can just get this stuff for free. Like, you can call it cheating, but I don't want to spend money on that, man. <laughs> I called it. It's gonna rain. Beans. Oh, my day is ruined. I'm gonna move this bench to up. Uh up the path. It's raining beans. It's raining beans. <laughs> no, I just said it was overcast and then I was right. Ugh. I feel bad because now my poor villager is going to get soaked. But I don't have any rain gear with me.
I think we'll just keep this as a simple path. And then I'll change this up to be uh, this guy. There we go. And now we have a nice little path to the town dump. All right, so I'm gonna go move this bench real quick. I wish I could place items on a 45 degree angle, man. You know what? I'm actually gonna stick this here. Is that the wind sound for a balloon? Oh well. Hold on. Oh, I'm all decisive. Uh, here. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. We're gonna move this flower. And we're gonna... All the bootleg amiibos on Wish. Are there bootleg amiibos on Wish? I have never used Wish.com and I hope to keep it that way. There we go. Now you can have a nice little think by a pond. All right, and I'll just move this flower. Cool, that's done. Let's go move Hugh's house. No. Yes, I like that, but I don't want to lose those trees because trees are expensive. So we'll pick those up. I bought a pack for giggles. It was like 10 cents. I'm so mad they actually work. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it's good that they work, right? Because wouldn't it have sucked to like, I mean, even if it's 10 cents, it's still your money. That would kind of blow. All right, so can I fit? Hugh's house over here. No. Here. I'm so fussy. I'm so sorry, but I think I want it one tile lower. And I'll just move that cedar tree out of the way. Yeah, yeah, I like that more. Oh, wait, did it delete the cedar tree? Hold on. I'm so scared. <sighs> okay. Yeah, the NFC tags, yeah. Okie dokie. Can I move a tree here? No. I'll put a bush here. And then that way I can still have some greenery. So we'll just plop uh, you. Get in there! And then... Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Looked up some amiibos. I really want them now. Like the figurines or the cards? There was a time where I really wanted to collect all of the amiibo figures, but I realized it was going to be a lot of money and space, and I wasn't really willing to do that. I don't remember... I'm not going to be able to build all of the path today because I have to wait for the house to go in. Green. Meh. Metal Island. I want to feel like I'm going to sink with the next person that visits. <laughs> I really do love when people do like either cyberpunk or like urban islands. I think those look really fun when they're like city vibes. Um, I 
think I'm actually gonna connect all of these. Yeah. Hugh, you don't deserve this. I'm break. That's what I get for talking shit about you. Actually, I just used that path similar in a similar spot nearby. So let's actually just do the standard. All right, and then I just have to fix that one bottom piece. Gorgeous. Now, I have a question, Isabel. How amazing is my beautiful island? Tell me. I'm curious to see what she's going to evaluate. It's probably still three, and that's fine, but... I just want to have a five-star island for a Jacob's Ladder. It's all I want. I don't think that's asking a lot. Islandy Vowels. Three star rating, beans! Uh, Isabel. What does that mean? Okay, so I have to keep putting uh, crafted items on the island. All right. Uh, thanks, girlfriend. I love you. This is great. Thank you. Gosh, darn it. Probably need the flowers to finish growing. Yeah, I think you do need a lot of uh, uh, flowers anyway, so that's something I have to work on. But I also need to place more crafted items for sure, because I don't have that many placed right now. Do I have any I could place? I want to make a scarecrow, but where am I going to fit it? I'll have to figure that out. I don't know where it's going to go. Um, I could put a bonfire on the beach. I can't make this until my white hyacinths grow in. Um, shoot. Dang it. How old is the island? I've only had it for about a month. A little less. Maybe maybe somewhere in that uh, realm, approximately. I think placing fences counts as crafted items, so I'm going to definitely make more fences. Because, like, basically my goal is I'm going to start... Um, I'm going to start putting people's houses off the beach and, like, on the island proper. And then I'm going to build them each a little yard, which will probably help. Um, it's just a matter of, like, getting it done. <laughs> I don't mind taking it day by day, but, uh, I think part of the challenge is also thinking about, like, how I want to decorate people's yards. Like, I still don't know what fence to put for Ike's house over here. I'll show you what his house looks like. It's gonna get redecorated, because I think it's ugly. I love the ironwood fixtures. I love the ironwood set. It's so pretty. I still need to find the cutting board DIY though. So I can't make the uh, kitchen net. Yeah, so this is Ike's house. It's He lives in a garage on a camping cot. Like, sir, you can do better. So I do want to do a Happy Home Paradise stuff for him at some point. And like, I, I was thinking I might turn his yard into like an outdoor crafting area. But I've also been debating making his yard a like farm area. I think I'm gonna do the farm thing. I think I'm gonna use Happy Home Paradise to get some items related to farming and gardening and stuff and then put them here. But I do wanna build like a little bit of fencing here as well. You know what I could do? I love this item and it counts as crafted. The wood stakes. Hello, little snail. Hello. Maybe this is what floats his goat. Maybe he's a prepper. 
Yeah, he's just like an old man who wants to work on his projects, and that's fine, but like, sleep on a proper bed, you're gonna hurt your back, dude. <laughs> took for friggin' ever to get that dang cutting board. It took so long, and I hate that I have to wait for it. Um, I'm looking for... Do I have any of those? Wood stakes? No? Okay. I want to make the wood stake item. This one. The log stakes. I think I'm going to use those for a fence. Uh, and then it'll also sort of double as a crafted item. Better for the weak. Comfort is a lie the government feeds you. I... <laughs> I don't know. I just, like, I still want to give Ike a home where he could do cool crafting stuff, but I also want him to have, like, a couch and, like, a TV and a place to, like, relax, you know? Um, I feel bad for him. And that's one of the things I love about Happy Home Paradise is that you're allowed to, uh, edit villagers' homes to not be so hideous. Isabel reminds me of what a teacher once said. She would criticize you mercilessly, but could make it sound so sweet, which somehow made it worse. I'm sorry, I laugh because I understand what you're saying. I've, I've been there. All right. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be enough, but I have my crafting table out in the wild I can always use. Still gotta figure out where to build that crafting station. I think I'm gonna build it near the campsite. That just kind of makes sense in my mind. I'll I'll put it there with um some kind of like outdoor tool shelf if I can find one. Like a weather weather resistant tool shelf, if that makes sense. Alright, so I'm gonna put some fences here. Push. Push. Maybe I do want them all facing the same direction. Hold on. Mm. No, I think I, I maybe I prefer that. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna have to build more log stakes, but I think I'll build some up here and over here, and then... Oh, but if I want the tractor to come out of his yard... He was actually gonna drive it around. I'm gonna move these. Hold on. I have to think this through. And then... She thinks my tractor is sexy. I miss silly country songs like that. They're always good for a laugh. Uh, we'll put this one here. And then we'll put this one here. Cool, I still have access to the river, which is important to me. Can I fit a tree here? Hell yeah! Let's go! Nah, I wanna keep the river somewhat clear so I can see it for the most part. And then... For now, this might change. For now, I'm gonna stick the tractor here. Don't question how he drives a tractor through the orchard. I guess it wouldn't really go down there. It would go down here. But, like, shh, it's fine. 
Man, I spent all that time watering stuff and I didn't have to. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I just realized I didn't have to do all that. God dang it. Frig. Shoot. All right, well. That's fine. I just wasted a bunch of my watering can for no reason. <laughs> dang it. All right, so I think at some point, um, I want to build a little, like, park here. Uh, with some, like, stone tile and some furniture and, like, a fountain. I think it'll be cute. I want to get the little... Do I have it? I don't think I have it. Do you know the little, um... Public library box. I've seen people who put that in parks, and I think that'd be really cute. I've seen like other builds that do that. I adore the weirdly realistic items that don't look like they belong in this world. Yeah, like we have to remember our villagers don't have ha fingers. Their hands are, are just spheres. So how do they drive? <laughs> And yet there are cars like it, it's just how it goes. Yeah, it's Powerpuff Girl rules. Um, I want The flower beds could potentially be very cute, but I want Park fountain Hooray! Furniture also just magically stores itself inside a leaf. Well, because it's like Tanuki rules, right? Because Tomnook isn't a raccoon. He's technically, actually, he's a Tanuki, right? And so Tanuki, um, they like notoriously are masters of illusion where they'll give you something and the moment you turn your back, it turns into a leaf because it was just an illusion. And so I think that's sort of how that gets represented in game. It's Tanuki magic. Get it, Tom Nook, Tanuki, you know, stuff like that. Although I did think Nook's Cranny was always very clever as a name. All right, I'm gonna just put some stuff away. I'm gonna go plant this white hyacinth somewhere, just to have it planted. Uh, thank you all for joining me today. This has been super helpful. <laughs> As you have seen, I get severely indecisive. Uh, it is a very bad trait. Um, and so it's very helpful when someone's like, yeah, no, that's a good idea or a bad idea. Like, it's, it's just nice to have a second <laughs> opinion sometimes when it is requested. Um... We love cozy AC streams. Yeah, I I really wanted to get back into this game because I think for a long time I just got so burnt out on it, uh, which was truly no one's fault but my own, right? Um, but I'm really glad to sort of give it another go, I suppose, um, and just take it by day by day. Although I I will be hunting down those <laughs> cherry blossom recipes. Um, but I appreciate y'all joining me. Yeah, Animal Crossing, I agree. It's such a fun, like, we'll just chat and get stuff done type stream, right? Um, my poor villager is gonna get soaked. We're gonna go inside. <laughs> I feel bad, she's gonna get all wet. Indecision isn't a bad trait. Yeah, but like, I don't know, sometimes it gets a little annoying to watch, I'm sure. You could read from a cookbook and we'd still be here for you. That is very sweet. Um. Man, I haven't touched a cookbook in a minute. I do have a great cookbook that uh, Comfy got me, actually, and I can't use, like, half the recipes. It sucks. <laughs> it's so good, and I can't use it. Uh, but anyway, y'all, thank you for joining me today. 